podcast is filmed before a live studio audience. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast with Jason and Mike. I'm Jason. And I'm Mike. And we're coming to you from the Pud Cave, located here in Game Swap in beautiful downtown Lincoln in the great state of North Carolina. Mikey, brother, what is going on? Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, brother. Brother, what a beautiful morning it is. Hey. The sun is shining, the skies are blue. And the cave is full, bro. Yes, we is. have got a full fucking house today, brother. Not only do we have a full house, Mike, but brother, we got a full house with some good old school friends, man. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce a no stranger to the Pud Cave. In fact, we're going to start charging you rent any day now because we have the one and only, the immortal one from This Is a Work, South Carolina's very own David Two Dogs Hayes. What's going on, brother? I'm the Don Rickles of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for dressing up, guys. It's, it's a, whoo. It's, <laughs> sitting over there with your little rascal's hat. <laughs> Damn it, man. I don't know where to go from there, brother. I, I, I think I think we're done. I was just hoping you know, Don Rickles it wasn't going to get any harder than that. <laughs> Don Rick, Rick, Rickles could be a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he could take it out oh, there, yeah. brother. He could definitely take it out. You got to work on that, brother. You know, like... Oh, don't, don't get me wrong. I love Lincoln. Lincoln. It's a beautiful place. A beautiful place. It's the, the the two Lincolnites that are right, right up there right now in my hotel robbing me. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> and he, Jesus, man. And making their debut in the Pud Cave this week for the first time ever on the podcast. Another good friend of ours, somebody that we have talked about here on the podcast several times. Yep. The one and only Smiley Josh Stewart. Josh, what's up with all, brother? Hey. Yeah, man. Welcome to the cave, brother. Thank you guys so much for having me. Uh, no Dom Rickles impression. Oh, so, that's... Okay, so... Um, <laughs> We've got it covered. We've got yeah, that we're covered. Good. We're good. So. <laughs> Well, Josh, you, gave, you gave it a try, but it didn't, didn't work out. It's all right. You're doing fine, kid. You're doing fine. Hey, are you doing, doing me, Jerry Lewis? <laughs> but no, nah, guys. Yeah, I'm going to get on my uh, Dean Martin over here. <laughs> As Mikey takes a shot of liquor. <laughs> wow. Damn it, brother. So that that's not a work. Oh, no. Oh, that is not. Oh, that's no, a shoot. No, oh, what? No, me. man. No, no. Uh, uh, no, no. This is... <laughs> This no. is, yeah, this is essential, brother. This it's is Sunday. Uh, it, hey, man, it's Sunday. Uh, Damn, that, dude, it's putting. It's the podcast, so yeah. you know. Uh, but it's man. small, <laughs> it's small, small. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, guys, one of the great things about this—it's this the first time the four of us have actually been in the same room at the same time, and oh God, I guess twenty years, fifteen, twenty years, something like that. It's it's been a long time. And yeah. this is four of, you know, I would always say four of the original five, six or seven. You know, we also had uh, Chris Baker Reno. We also had the E-Man in mm -hmm. there. And, of course, we had our, our good friend Chris Stowe, mm -hmm. who also used to co-host the show Through the Ropes with you, yep. Josh, back mm -hmm. in the day. And uh, for anybody that listens to the podcast, we actually did a, a holiday special this past Christmas where we did a kind of a rebroadcasting of one of the old Through the Ropes shows. So, like I said, even though Josh is the first time here in the Pud Cave, it's not necessarily the first time you've heard Josh on the podcast. So, and we, I didn't know that I was on the show every week. So, yeah. apparently, so oh yeah, that's you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've been listening to the podcast since the beginning. No clue that was me. <laughs> that is you, brother. Yeah, that we uh, we got that sample out of the holiday special and. The first time I heard that, I, I just cracked up and I said, "Okay, we got to get a sampler," yeah. and, and that's that. Oh yeah, is why I spent over a hundred bucks on this yeah, little yeah. machine here. So you <laughs> one, know. Sample. one sample, one sample, one sample. The rest of it, man, we just filled up for the hell of it. But yeah. that one, and as you can see, it is the number one button. It's the first one you have, and uh, but nah, guys, I was just going to say it's really great to have us four in the same room because. Oh, if you look at the button, it is, it's got a picture of you. It does. It <laughs> does. Making the most miserable face <laughs> a human being could ever have. And I know why. <laughs> I know why you are miserable in that, that particular picture. I took that picture. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, you did not, brother. What? No, you're in the picture. I actually got that picture from that armory show that we had. Was that the armory show picture? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. I don't know who took that picture. I'm thinking, dogs, you may have because you're not in it. So you're like no, uh, the ar the armory picture that you're referring to. I wasn't at that no. one. Oh, okay, okay. You were at the the next one. Yeah, I uh, got you. Okay, there were like the three armory was... shows I was at, but that one I didn't make because I was. 
wanting to drink. I understand. So. <laughs> I understand. I can completely relate. You should have hung out for after the show. I mean. Oh, I was way drunk by the time that show was over. <laughs> Us too, bro. <laughs> okay, no. which which armory show are we talking about? That, it, that photo. Is? It was uh the gas. It was in Gastonia. It was. I don't know which show. I don't know that if it was. The first wait, this one. is one. Of the, was it the first yeah. one? Okay, this is the one that through the ropes promotion shows. Yes. yes oh, this yes. was the matter of respect too. That ended no. up not being a matter right, of respect. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I, well, I was at that no. one. Yes, you were. Yeah, at that you one. were. Yeah, so, yeah, I worked security. Right. Yeah, with. JJ, that was the second. No, no, that was the second. That show. was the second. I worked that one too. Okay, because I know I worked security for the first one. Yeah, I think me and you worked it together because Rob Van Dam. Like, you, you, me, me and JJ. That's right. That's right. I'll, I'll never forget when Stowe come out and say, "Hey, Jason, you're going to be running security." I'm like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> me? What? I, I can see dogs. I can see JJ. You know, he's pretty big guys. You know, but me? What the fuck because am I going to do? You know? the, the first show <laughs> is. Uh, uh, we we had just gotten everything set up, and the show is going to start in like maybe two hours. And uh, I see, I, I see this black guy coming in from the back door. Right. And I knew nobody was supposed to be coming in that way. And I uh, and I, and I was like, hey. then he he brings his wife in, and then he's got a kid, and I was like. Look at this freeloader! Oh <laughs> hell no! Oh no! And so I so and so I bowed up a little uh -oh. bit. Get that security, you know. Security and I, mode. I started strutting over there, chest all blew up, old chest all blown up, man. And I walked up, and as I started to get closer, this guy started growing. <laughs> and, um, oh, like it started growing up and out. Oh shit! And say what now? <laughs> but I. <laughs> But I still oh, had, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I still had that stock to me, and, and by the time I realized the words had already come out of my mouth, it was, "Excuse me, this is not. That's not the entrance you're supposed to come through. Can I help you, sir?" The words had already come out of my mouth as I realized that I was talking to the barbarian. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it. He, no, he was yeah, yeah. really cool. He did. Yeah, yeah. He, I, I, the second I realized, he just kind of looked down at me, <laughs> which is, I'm 6'3". Yeah, you're a big guy, man. I'm 6'3". Right, right. There ain't too many people look down at me. He kind of just kind of glanced, didn't even really tilt his head, just kind of eyes dropped down <laughs> towards me and goes, um, in the show tonight, and I was like, "Yes, you are, sir. Come right this way." And um, uh, I, I, me, I a thousand apologies. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but just, at least you made it through his wife too, you know, because I know she, she was more of the, I guess, um, yeah, she was a nice lady too. Yeah. I had the pl pl the pleasure of meeting and talking to her. She was really nice and cool. But I also remember her yelling at somebody in the back. It may have been one of the promoters, Greg. Maybe I don't. I just remember her raising hell about something. I, maybe she was raising hell at the barbarian. I don't know. I didn't want to find out. I right. just remember a lot of loud shit was going on, man. And I went. All, all, I, all, I, I mean? all I know about that is that she definitely runs the show yes. when they appear together and they bring their kids and they have their gimmick table and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't do the payoffs that night. If I remember correctly, uh, Chris did. Right. Uh, but uh, the line that I heard was, "You don't pay barbarian. You pay Mrs. Yeah. Barbarian." Yes. Yeah. 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 I just remember hearing yeah. something going on, and because I was walking into the back room, and I stopped, and I just turned my ass around, yeah. and I, I just took it somewhere else. I'm like, I'm not going in there, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but you know, man, one one thing I was going to say, you know, this is for of like I said, that original group of people that did start on this journey together in, in the world of professional wrestling, mm -hmm. you know. And and we actually, the three of us, myself, Dogs, and, and Smiley, we started at Gaston College Radio. You know, that's kind of where we met each other. And then, you know, me and Mikey knowing each other, you know, Mikey came into the fold. Even though Mikey was maybe never officially WSGE, you, you were. You, right. you know what I'm saying? We were all in that same group. And I just think it's, you know, it's really great, man, to have a little bit of a reunion here today. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, like I said, man, we, we had some great times and, you know, it's really yeah. cool to have been able to tell some of these stories on the show and now be able to have some of the people here that actually live those stories, yeah. you know. So, um, man, what y'all want to talk about? I have no idea. I have no format today. <laughs> well, um, here's the thing. I, 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 we got to go ahead and get this settled right now. When are we going to have the Upper Deck Bar and Bistro debate? You son of a bitch. <laughs> See, Let's this just, is, this should, is should why. Should we save it to the end? Or should we... <laughs>
I mean, <laughs> everything I'm clueless else. All I mean, either, I'm really not sure either, guys. Well, it's either this. It's oh, either Josh this tried the, to get me killed. <laughs> well, do tell. Well, let's oh, here we go. go. Yeah, no, here no, we no. go. Let's wait, 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 wait. No, I believe. <laughs> So it's it's either this or, we, or you and I talk about the iconics. We're gonna so, get to that. Okay, we're, right. we're gonna get to that. And and your disrespect to David Crockett as a promo, or as a commentator too. I want to discuss that at some point. <laughs> we're we're gonna get there. I may be he, on. He, he was a commentator. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Molly. You see what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> but let's hear about this, man. Y'all tell okay. this story to each other. Do you want to Do you want to start? or And then I'll come in with the truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, no problem. No problem. Because <laughs> what I'll do is I'll, I'll say what happened, and then I'll tell you, okay, and then I'll tell the truth, and then you'll lie, which you've always done. Fine. <laughs> okay. All right. So <laughs> once again, just just to get this it out is, there. This, this is kind of like an addendum to the uh, Club Days episode. Okay. 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 Good. Now, <laughs> one thing we talked about a lot, or, or you guys talked about a lot during that episode, was where we would go. Right. Okay. Right. And I would say as a group that we like to play home games when we went to clubs. Uh, okay. We didn't venture. We went if we were at the Baja and it was retro eighties night. Right. Okay. We knew everybody. Yeah. We had like control of the stage a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, man. Okay. We we have full reign of that place. Right. Really. right. Yeah, so yeah. I so I, I would compare that to like if you're to sports like a home game. Okay. Okay. okay I got you. Okay. See, I got that, you. That was a long walk okay. to get there, but I know what he's <laughs> okay. talking about. Was now. that a Go plug ahead. for Long Walk Productions? <laughs> was was it? I, it sounded like. It sounded yeah. like it. <laughs> I, I'm on to you, bro. No, we yeah. got you. Okay. We're we'll going to give you we'll time to plug you. it, we'll man. We'll get you later. Yeah, you're going to plug it before you leave, bro. Well, I yeah. took a long walk here to the pud cave today. <laughs> to this production. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, dogs and I decided to go on the road one night. Okay. We decided to pl- I, I would call it a road game. Okay. And if you're, if it's the Upper Deck Bar and Bistro. We went to Charlotte. <laughs> no. Did you well, take no, a no. long walk? No, we didn't, go to, we didn't go to Charlotte. We went to the Upper Deck Bar and Bistro on a Thursday on Frat Boy Night, okay? In, in Charlotte. Which is a different... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. See... This is awesome. He, he's already... <laughs> see, he's already... Like uh, right the, off the gate, man! The, right the, out the, the gate, the, the misdirection has already begun. Yeah. What? Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. All right, man, all right Mr. Pre- it, Mr. President, hold on. <laughs> is it or is it not in Charlotte? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, <laughs> he, he, hell to the chief. Okay, hold on. All right. Wow, now, fake, all right, news. So, fake news, fake news. <laughs> so, lots of things happen in Charlotte. <laughs> but but you're already i'm just saying you're already equated the upper deck bar and bistro to the baja frat boy night versus retro 80s night right <laughs> okay can i interject for one second do you remember when you guys were talking about smiley mikey uh, that the other day and you said it was like you know you know, uh, yeah, we, we we gave him the business a little bit, but he caused some of this. Okay, <laughs> right here. This is this is the reason, and Example. that's why this is why I stole your fries, you son of a bitch. Hey, 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 hey. we're getting to that. We're going to get to that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll address uh, that later. Oh any, any, so any, at your pleasure, okay. sir. So, so is this All place right, in we're, Charlotte? We're, we're, I, I'm just <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. It's in Charlotte. That has nothing to do with what happened. <laughs> okay. But, okay. You know. Yeah. But that doesn't matter to dogs. Okay. So, so, <laughs> okay. So, oh. so, all right. Last, all right. La- last bell. Last bell. Right. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> you, no, no. Actually, stay close to it. There'll be more. <laughs> so <laughs> we go to. All right. It's we decide we go. The, we decide that we're going to go to the Upper Deck Bar and right. Bistro. And this is frat, it, frat night because it's dollar drink night on a Thursday. Okay. Do so you have an idea of who the clientele might be? And, and just to kind of put it out there for our listeners, our group and our crew and our style was probably more on the gothic side, more on very very non preppy. Let's for the most part, you know, right. you know, we we maybe would dress a little preppy here and there, but it was not frat boys or nothing right. like that. Mm-hmm. That was completely different from our style and our scene and also the upper deck uh used to be over in right beside uh, uncc uh, in oh, the university area of okay. charlotte and um 
So how would the story have been different if it ha- this happened in Ramlo? <laughs> it's <laughs> what I want. That's what I want to know. What is the focus? Of the Charlotte? Charlotte. Well, because I kept saying he was like, oh, well, it's like the, most of our places were in Charlotte. I was like, this was too, and you kept you were almost denying the fact that it was in Charlotte. <laughs> no, I didn't deny the fact that it was in Charlotte. I he tried to equate the Upper Deck Bar and Bistro and the Bar Geez. because both of as them a are Charlotte, in Charlotte. Night life place. Yeah. <laughs> it was a road game. It was a road <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like it's that we're heading out of town. We'll be in uh, you know <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> All right, man. All right, let's go. Let's My go. apologies. Let's keep it I, going, guys. I Come on. Right. Come on. So, <laughs> so we meet up. I remember we met up in Belmont at Food Lion. Okay? Are you sure it was Outside in Belmont? In the parking lot. <laughs> yes, it was in Belmont. <laughs> Is that cool with you, dogs? I'll, you I'll, I'll we'll concede. Do I don't remember. <laughs> no, I, I remember we would do that a lot. It, yeah, it was either it was either at the uh, the Balo or uh, at the Gas and Gazette. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we did. Yeah, right. that, that's true. Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right. So we're at the the Bistro. We're in Charlotte. <laughs> well, it's frat night. No, no, we're not, we're not there yet. We're still oh, okay. in Belmont. Okay, okay, that's right. Right. We know that we're going to Dollar Drink Night, and we know we're going to Frat Boy Night. Right. Okay. We know we're going to play a road game. Okay. Okay. What does two dogs do? He pulls out mascara. Of okay? course he fucking does, man. Of course right. he fucking does. So, and he starts. Can confirm. He start. He starts putting the tribal war paint mm-hmm. on his face. Yep. That he wore to, you know, the retro eighties night. Yep. You know, they had the fetish. The Hooters at the right. beach that one right. time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, talk about. Glad we got out of there with our fucking skin. I wasn't right. fighting. I was like, fuck y'all, man. You gonna, <laughs> dude, when we- oh, there's another story that happened at the beach after you left. Yeah, because I went to the house. I'm like, fuck y'all, man. <laughs> I'm drunk. We, I'm we, we may have it. to discuss that in post-production. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, we yeah. might. I don't know if we want to bring that one up. Uh, but. It just, yeah. but anyway, guys, okay, so so you're in Belmont. You're at the, the Bilo. You're going to frat boy night on, on a road game. Right. And I admittedly, I'm wearing slacks and a polo shirt because I know I'm going to play a road game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dogs doesn't work that way. No. Okay. <laughs> Not at all. He starts putting that stuff on his face. And I know at this point, like, I can either choose to go to the Upper Deck Bar and Bistro in Charlotte with him and get the dollar drinks, knowing that at a certain point we will get in a fight. Yeah, a fight's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, in a sense, I will blame myself from the standpoint of that. I knew what I knew. was getting into. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I still win. <laughs> but that's not really the point. I knew there was trouble when we... Listen, if I if, if I didn't want trouble, I would have stopped hanging out with you guys years They're ago. Per, per, <laughs> yeah, yeah, tr- tr- so, in a tr- way... <laughs> fair enough. I think we can surmise right off the bat, before we even finish this story, that this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm... That's that's the vibe that I'm picking oh up here. Jesus. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to concede as much as I'm going to concede right there. Okay? Just... W- we get to the we get to the upper deck bar and bistro. We start with the dollar drinks. Right. <laughs> Things are going well. Now at a certain point, drunk drunk frat boy mm. comes over to dogs. <laughs> what is that shit on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Can't confirm. <laughs> <laughs> what is that shit on your face? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. here we go. <laughs> Mother of God, here it now, comes. <laughs> Here's where the story takes a turn in two different directions, depending oh. on who you believe. Oh, hell. You know, the person who... Ge- now, here's a version from the person who generally has been known to tell the truth over the years. Okay. <laughs> okay. So... We'll just let that go. <laughs> so, okay. Jesus, man. <laughs> Fra- frat boy who had issue with the mascara that two dogs was wearing. Right. I don't know if it was the fact that it was like Maybelline instead of some other brand or something like that, but he took issue with it. Um, That's not Avon, you fucker. <laughs> so he can kind of, so get my shit from Mary Kay. Bitch. <laughs> so they, uh, of course, frat boy is immediately joined by, other or five boys. other frat boys, obviously, they run in packs. Who share his share his uh, political persuasions or whatever you, <laughs> right? However you want to put it. So here's where one of two things happened. Okay, mm-hmm. this they obviously 
realized that the two of us were together. <laughs> so he but, was. Yeah, wait, 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 wait! Stop, 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 stop! I'm gonna need you to rephrase immediately. Okay, I need you to rephrase. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, I, you know, I'll rephrase. Please. It, it was immediately... Okay. We were okay. lovers. <laughs> okay. Shit. All right. Jesus, man. We... All right. We were... Their issue... Okay. All right. Here we go. Here's a rephrase. Here's a rephrase. I knew that their issue was not just going to get his ass kicked. It's going okay? get, it's it gonna get gonna, your, his boyfriend's ass kicked. <laughs> immediately clear that I was going to get my ass kicked, too. So, as uh, so, what? I did something that most reasonable people would do. I got out of the bar stool that I was on because our only chance, while they were focusing on his mascara, wait, let me uh, wait, pause for. Was, uh, I just want was, you to notice the wording that Josh used here. Uh, he got. He, he didn't get off the bar stool. He got out of the bar stool right. that he was out using. of off. Okay, whatever. So, okay. <laughs> off the board. Okay. <laughs> more more redirection, but that's fine. Okay. That's how you roll. That's fine. Um, this is on you, buddy. <laughs> so I immediately realized that our only chance, while they're mostly focused on him, is for me to get off <laughs> the bar stool. No way. We'll get, we'll get. Get okay, I'm forced error. That's fine. I don't care at this point. You, so punctuation so, is key with with some of this stuff. It's, I need you to finish those sentences. So then, basically, to help out his partner. <laughs> my our only chance was for me to take that bar stool and take out two or three of those guys. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Yeah. At that point, the bartender came over and stop the issue mm -hmm. like he's told those guys to go away right. and i believe we stayed for a short period of time and then we left or we left immediately i honestly don't remember which so uh, we, we hung out a couple hours because i uh i started talking to the dj he got us he started playing some music and stuff good well, that's cool, cool. congratulations cool, cool, cool. very very happy to hear that so where do you where do you what what, what part of this story isn't true um uh, actually okay well first of all damn it man let's let me just correct just a couple of <laughs> we're not together <laughs> we're not together we're just we're just talking <laughs> i if if you thought something the, uh, a relationship was going to blossom from this uh, from from this outing that we experienced together. I I didn't mean to lead you on. I, <laughs> God damn it, guys! Oh my God! That's and that's my fault for the way I was dressed. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I mean, you did have on your best makeup, bro. I mean, you well, know. You, you never know. Uh, so, oh, God. <laughs> maybe it's him. Maybe no, it's you, Maybelline. Uh, <laughs> we knew that night. We knew. <laughs> We knew that night. We knew we were gonna get our asses kicked. So. We uh, <laughs> no that, but I actually, you that was that was fairly accurate. Uh, <laughs> man, I just know that time that we went into Hooters and you and JJ had that same shit. Man, the white face paint <laughs> with the black. Um, I, I don't know what kind of language it was. It was like Ganji, I believe. Uh, it's like the Asian type of writing. You know, I'm, I'm not sure what you call it. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I thought Ganji was that stuff you liked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's Ganja. Oh, okay, right. Ganja. Love that. <laughs> did you wear that to Coyote Joe's one night? Yes, I did. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dogs! How did I you, mean, have you made it this far, bro? Well, <laughs> I sometimes I go looking for trouble. That that yeah. part has. Yeah. Uh, Thankfully, in my old age, I've kind of gotten rid of that. Uh, kind of calm down. You know, so, some people, some well, people six have like have a, hurt. No, exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly. Some people have a death wish, yeah. and um, you know they and because they have that that thrill seeker. Yeah, yeah, that ad vibe adrenaline. Ad yeah, so yeah. they will uh, they'll they'll jump out of airplanes or they'll go bungee jumping, right, or, or some type of extreme sport. I will put makeup on and go out to <laughs> like 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 
yeah. like regular places yeah. like Hooters. Yeah, yeah like you know. like Hooters. Yeah. Uh, you know, places in Gastonia. That, that, places in Charlotte. I went to places. the Pioneer Club in Gastonia wearing it. Dude, I Basically never, anywhere wow. where yeah. the testosterone level is like a hundred or more. <laughs> yeah. If there's one person that's going to come up and you say, hey boy, what's up with hey. that makeup on your face? That's where you that's would like, wear that's, it to. That's, that's where I'm wanting to be. Because yeah. uh, man, when we walked into Hooters, I swear, if that there was not a jukebox playing, but if there was, you would heard the needle scratch. <laughs> it all eyes on you. And that fucking waitress was like, hey y'all, Kiss is in the house. I'll never forget that. All eyes yeah. on us, man. We're like fucking Tupac, dude. Yeah. All eyes on us. I'm like, oh shit. The, the I remember Chris difference. Though said we're gonna get in a fucking fight. <laughs> the the one difference is I'm aware, I, I'm aware of what I look like, and I, I know what I'm walking into. Right, right, you're right. JJ, on the other hand, what's the problem? Was, was, was fairly miffed about the whole thing. I don't know what the fucking will, problem is. Man. I will not eat at this establishment, <laughs> <laughs> good sir. I bid you good day. And, uh, look like Ace Fraley over here. You know? <laughs> But, you know, uh, dog, something that you did bring up a little earlier, and I think it's something we should address right here, right now. Mm-hmm. I think you owe Smiley an apology for eating that man's French fries. And you know exactly what I mean. You know exactly what happened. You know exactly where it was. It was fucking in Charlotte. You know, I, I'm Are trying. you sure it he, was he in did, Charlotte? As I, as I remember this story, I don't know if he really owes me an apology. Because I, I, I punked him out afterwards anyway. That's so, true. Yeah, that is so, true. Yeah. But still, I mean... I don't uh, seem to recall this. What, what, what was this? <laughs> well, t- t- tell us about it, man. How, I, God, we're just over here once again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't... I don't so how did, how did are you, you talk about Are you about? sure this but, was me? I don't... Oh, with the French fries? Yeah. Yes, man. Yes. I don't. I don't think I remember. I those. remember watching you take every French fry off this man's plate, with no remorse. You just did not give a straight fuck that you just ate all this man's French fries, man. And I think that deserves an apology. I had a couple oh, French fries off the plate, Smiley. I apologize. I shouldn't have ate those French there, fries. There were a lot. Of, it was I drove a him very home generous that night. amount of French fries. <laughs> there was, but he ate a generous amount. <laughs> He, he was very generous with himself. Like yes, he he was. I also drove you home that night. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Who's going to drive you home? I knew you were going to do that. But, but it was his car. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was his car. Right, because he he can't drive sober, uh, much less drunk. Uh, but do I ever ask for a thing? You, 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 no. might, you might find some. Did you ever ask that, for a so. French fry? No. <laughs> I was going to say, man, you can adjust your mic stand there, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was going to, you look like kind of, uh, we usually have short people in here. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Let me play devil's advocate you actually, on the other but, side. Let me play the, the coin, uh, the other side of the coin. Does he owe an apology or does Josh owe him an apology for going all exorcist on his bathroom? And, and, <laughs> oh, wait, oh. wait. Okay. No, uh, okay. All right. No, Why I'm puking all over yeah, the walls? Um, <laughs> if this is the... The course we're going to go down. Yeah, let's, let's, let's all, yeah, no, yeah. no, that's fine. It's fine. Let's you know, just. I was fine with setting no ground rules, but, uh, but maybe we should, man. Know. We don't want to get too. Yeah, yeah, you know. Now, now let's now let's also call it, man. Everybody is throwing up at your house. At some oh point. yeah. I mean, yeah. Smiley's was pretty epic. I will say that much. <laughs> yes, but but to say I was the lone was cinematic. Is it, what was it was very cinematic. Um, God damn, that was fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I may or may not have been uh, experimenting with some psychedelics that night. Uh. May or may not have. I'm not telling on myself. Uh. I'm just saying. I was like, God damn, that's a lot of puke. Yeah. <laughs> can can like, we go back to the French fry story? Yeah, let's go yeah. back to French fries, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I thought that was going pretty well. Um. <laughs> But nah, guys, I mean, it's But just, we were all drunk to it. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. And you know, that was one thing I always loved about when we would go out to the clubs and go out to these bars and stuff like that. You know, we would always usually meet up at Athens Restaurant or something like that. Hayden's. And our Hayden's, you know, a lot of times that would be, uh, we'd hit that, that before. The, that was the jo- jump point, which was probably the worst Jesus, thing ever. Jesus, man. Yeah. Hayden's was a great place, uh, man. I can't even tell you how many brain yeah. cells we burned up in that place, man. Um, but yeah, so, so what y'all want to talk about now? Because, like I said, we don't want to get to, you know. Because we, we and throw it up. <laughs> well, I'm surprised you didn't say or dicks. 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 Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I got a story. Okay. I still can't believe that's me. That's I, got, you, I got a story. You oh, may yeah. remember this. You may not. 
Well, yeah, I think it's less than a 50-50 shot. Yeah, 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 are yeah, we? Yeah. Gonna, are you going to call this episode uh, Old Men Sitting Around the Cracker Barrel? I can. Okay. I can. I, I actually okay. don't have a name yeah. for it I yet, so yeah. It might be Old Men, men Sitting Around the Cracker Barrel on Acid. So I, I don't know. Or some no. other... You know, yeah, I yeah. Remember. Or old crackers sitting around the old, <laughs> yeah, old, barrel. old crackers just sitting old crackers around the acid around. barrel, <laughs> or just <laughs> or just old crackers. <laughs> but no, we we were coming home. Uh, well, no, we were coming to Lincoln after uh, probably well, the, the the Baja or something. There's like four of us or something, and uh, we wound up at South Fork Park. And uh, you decided to take a, a dip into the South Fork River. Yes. Oh yes. fuck! Nobody warned him about South Fork. <laughs> I did. I did. Oh sh- okay. Like, okay, hey, man. No, you, no, you'll come no, out with no. a second fucking head. I don't head. know man. this. Yeah. I don't I, think I know this. Oh, who, who, I have who was, many who was questions. With, yeah, I, I did yeah. want to ask you about this. Who was with us? Uh, um, it I don't was, remember their names. I wasn't there. No, no you weren't there. No. Who was the young lady from the Baja who uh, like did the kicks in the air? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know her name. I don't even know who y'all are talking about. Yeah. Okay. Did the kicks, kicks in the air. What, she what, was like the, what were you at Rockefeller Center? She, what, what? <laughs> the Rockettes. She was like she was she was like five feet tall uh-huh. and she would like do these like karate kicks into the air while she danced. Yeah. I don't you don't remember no, who this is? Well, no, I, I, I don't remember her name. No, I remember. But you like, remember who she is. I remember yeah, a dude real, that him. used to do that. That one dude, he looked like fucking Kung Fu Theater <laughs> over here. It's like, but I don't okay. remember a female. I don't yeah. either. But yeah. she was she was with us at the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there, there, were, there were, and it was somebody else. Take me like, by the river. It was it was uh, another in the water. I can't remember her name. Um. I don't. I don't this remember. This is a great story. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was. The th- but no, the fact that the biggest part of the story. That was the biggest part of the story. Is he jumped in the South Fork River, almost and lived. He, he got caught up. You actually got caught up because it was a strong current on that river. Yes. Oh fuck. Yes. Yes. I don't, yes true. I uh, yeah. I he do got re- swept down quite a, quite a ways. I don't remember he even hearing about this. I, I don't either. It's, uh, guilty as charged. Yeah. yeah. No shit. No. But the funniest thing was when he was coming off the bank. I was like, oh my god. You know he, he you about died. <laughs> and he's coming off the bank and there's Josh and his, his dink ding dong is just like <laughs> oh, hanging man. straight out. I oh, knew man. there was going to be like, a hey, dick. Josh. <laughs> Your dick's hanging out, man. Dick's out, dog. Uh, He's climbing up this bank. <laughs> His dick hanging out. But that, that was the funniest part. Oh, uh, wow. It was like <laughs> jumping in the South Fork and, and almost dying. Jesus, I okay, don't remember, I've, remember hearing that. I have man. several questions about this story. I, no, you don't. No, <laughs> no, no, I, no. I, I feel like I need to ask. Just, no, I, no, I feel no. like the puds out no, there no, need to know. They, they deserve the truth, man. The puds deserve the truth. Oh yeah. wow! You know, so I, I was really gonna like share this all over social media after the. Um, <laughs> but not I, now. I, Probably I, not. Well, listen, my Probably questions. Not. Uh, my, my questions are innocent enough. <laughs> No, they're uh, not. Bullshit. No, they really yeah. are. Yeah. They really we are. all know no, that's bullshit. Not. First of all, let's just let's just start out saying, was, were you were you coming from uh, a club or, or a bar yes. or going to no, from? This, this is from. This from. is yeah. Okay, yeah, this, so this yeah, is yeah, late yeah. at night. No, this is like six a.m., seven a.m. in the oh, morning. No, oh, so this shit. is oh, oh this wow. Is okay, late, so man. this is burning yeah. the candle at both ends. Yeah, back in those days. So possibly the sun may be starting to come no, up. No, it was up. No, oh, okay. So yeah, it was it like was up. I thought it was like like dust. No, it, or something. no, it was up. It, yeah. it was it was broad daylight. Okay, I'll oh, I'll concede okay. this because okay. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, I my my main question. Why did you decide it was a fantastic idea to jump into the river at that particular moment? Booze, maybe? <laughs> Probably the same reason <laughs> you showed up at the Upper Deck Barn Beach Grove. We're, <laughs> we're Maybelline on your damn face. You're questioning so- Wait a minute. So you're questioning, oh, yeah. you're questioning somebody else's uh, rational thinking from the nineties? Are a, you kidding me? Are you? I'm got, just saying. Got, I'm just saying. Maybe there was. You got a point. Uh, this, you got a point, man. The voice, got, that's, that's, David, the voice of her strength, Hayes, <laughs> wants to, 
wants to well, question no, 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 other people's decision making. What were you thinking? <laughs> no, I'm not. Ju- I'm not judging what was going yet. Your head? <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just saying this. Look like the great Muda over here. Oh, I feel <laughs> like there had to have been a reason. Like it was like, man, I just, you know, I, I, I just pissed myself i need to wash this off hey look there's a river you know okay let's okay. Do, something like that that that's Threw all up that's, on yourself or yeah something. i vomited okay, on okay. myself yeah, let yeah. me jump in the river uh yeah, yeah. I, okay. well, I know it was like during the summertime uh, i would okay. certainly let's, hope so let's, oh yeah would anybody be shocked considering no matter what story we tell today mm-hmm. if Alcohol or some other substance oh, yeah. wasn't involved 100%. in the decision. One hundred percent of the time. Okay. But, uh, so, 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 why are you so confused about this? Well, no, I'm just. I, there's usually What's there's your... there's a there's usually a reason at why or was it just hey you know what fuck it the the sun's coming up I want to take a swim <laughs> I feel like taking a swim I mean that's guys that's well, I mean I mean I just I'm wondering where. <laughs> Well, how many times oh, listen, did that happen I, next door? Listen, you know, it's some people. People oh. have different thoughts. Like, <laughs> I, l- listen, I never thought about showing up at Coy- Coyote Joe's looking like I was in the Cure. Okay, <laughs> so no, no, is that, is that Rob Smith? <laughs> so what you're telling me is, hey, is you don't remember love. what your reasoning Fat was Bob. for. Okay, what Fat was, what was your Bob. reasoning? <laughs> I was looking for trouble. <laughs> Most of the time, I found it. Mission accomplished. I win. <laughs> you did. You know, but man, Mikey just brought up a funny story that I've never told on there on on this podcast. He still hasn't answered the question. <laughs> I, I answered the question with another question. So I answered. <laughs> well, you know, we were talking about swimming. <laughs> yeah, going yeah. back into swimming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. swimming. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I remember one day. This is a. This is. I can't believe we even haven't had this story on the podcast yet. But back in the day, I don't know, man. I think we just hit twenty one. I was. I was old enough to buy booze. I remember uh, that. Yeah. Let's be careful on this one. Oh, well, well, I mean, we'll be cool. We'll be cool. Okay. No, fuck that, man. Be careful, Wait. man. This is the podcast, man. Okay. This is the podcast. Wait. Okay. Man no, just had his it, dick but, out in South Park River. Man, and you want to say no, no. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. Exactly. Let's be careful. When we it has will. nothing to do <laughs> if it has something to do with me. No, okay. we, we will be cool, man, I promise. But you know, I gotta uh, I, I just it, had it's questions, Josh. It's, it's I just really, had a couple of questions. I'm so surprised that one of your wrestling names <laughs> oh, at Gaston oh, in College just, was Ego the Adonis. That okay? was true. Oh wow! That, I, yeah, you gotta wow, be honest. I, really, man. I haven't heard that. I've about, never I heard such that. a true to life character <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I'm just inquisitive. That's all. <laughs> it's uh, I. I had a couple of questions. I want to well, know things. I, I, I got to tell on two dogs. Ed. I got to tell this story, man. Go right ahead. So I get this phone call, man. It was summertime. You know, I'm actually off work. you called me. Did I call you? Uh, I call- and I'm not gonna say why I know you called me, but I remember. All I'm going to say is I remember picking up the phone and I was angry that you, that anybody called at that particular moment. Was you getting some? Who knows? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Did you take her to the beach during a hurricane? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, 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 we were on Highway 11. I mean... Um, you know, we we weren't there. The wind was blowing. I mean, the wind was <laughs> yeah, blowing. I mean, there was, you know, there was a stiff the breeze in the air. <laughs> wait, did you say highway? Yeah, we'll get. You, wait, 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 wait. Did you say highway to heaven or highway eleven? Highway uh, eleven. Highway eleven. 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 Okay. Eleven. <laughs> I, okay. So that, we, that makes it less confusing for me. Okay, good. So so we we're on the phone. Uh, I thought I called you or, or you called me, but I must have called you. Well, anyway, mm-hmm. well, we're talking, you know, hey, I, you know, I was going to go out and buy some booze. It's probably about 11 o'clock in the morning, you know. Maybe. It's about right. It's about right, yeah. And Dawes is like, well, hey, I'm going to tell on you, bro. I can edit this out if you want me to edit it out. but yeah, go, go ahead. I'll, I'll see where we're. What, where we go with it. Yeah. Well, anyway, Dawes like, hey, my, my neighbors are out of town. So I got the swimming pool open over here. And I was like, oh, cool. You, you, the neighbors are cool and he's like oh yeah man it's cool come on over we'll go swimming we'll drink we'll go swimming in the neighbor's pool cool man hell yeah let's go very go get some liquor you know what i'm saying we partying a little bit we getting a good buzz fuck it let's go jump in the pool you know we swimming around man we having a good old time man about that time i saw a van coming down your neighborhood it had luggage on top <laughs> and i was like they're slowing down and then dogs i'm like well it's cool man i mean we have permission 
that's what I was under the <laughs> impression of. Mm-hmm. So, we, we, which we did. We did. Well, the only thing I know is when that motherfucker pulled into the driveway, I was like, hey, dude, that's my neighbor's. Just be cool. And I'm like, fuck that, dude. My fat ass ran so fast, man. I mean, I literally, I, I thought it was the fucking cops, but. Finger straight up <laughs> bailed on me. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> and see, and it wasn't the fact that we were in the pool. It was the fact that there were beer cans <laughs> and liquor bottles okay. Fair all Fair around. Fair enough. Some of them were in the pool. Uh-huh. Um, and this is what, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon at this point? No, probably. at this point, we had been drinking all, all day. day. It was probably a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, man, I Because it was, it, it, the way the story started was um, me and, and uh, a lady friend and... Um, and then you swung by, and so we just all jumped in the pool. That's right. That's right. And um, uh, well, then she left. She left. She left. Like yeah. maybe two hours yeah. before the, they that. they got back. Because mm-hmm. I remember we were in your living room, and your neighbors, I, I guess the wife or whatever, the the woman that lived there. She knocked on the door. Well, man, I put my hand up over my face where she couldn't see me. I didn't even want to look at her. And she had uh, a handful of this lady's, your friend's uh, rings and stuff like that. And she was like, I don't want to know. I'm just saying I found these. I figured they're yours or you know who these belong to. And I was like, thanks. You know what I'm saying, dude? I was yeah. so, oh, my God. I just remember when that motherfucker pulled up, I was like, be cool brother before the word was not i was not absolutely (laughs) not no by the time the word cool left that man's voice i was already halfway across the yard you Uh, ever you ever watch king of the hill and you see when dale gribble gets scared (laughs) and he goes "Ah!" (laughs) and he goes <laughs> and he goes running. That's basically that pretty much it. without the scream. That's <laughs> what he scream. did. Right. I, no, I, 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 I didn't have time to scream. I was like, I "Fuck have this!" One, I have one question. What is? How is being cool going to get in all those like beer bottles, and beer bottles <laughs> to disappear? Like, what part be of cool, being man. cool? Be cool, man. Be cool. I was like, this gonna, you, What man, part I'm of leaving. being cool is going to assist this situation? <laughs> I didn't. I, I wasn't. Well, see, in my drunken state. I was hoping that we might be like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, whereas if if we don't move, they won't see us. They won't see us. The problem is we were both in the deep end, so if we stopped moving, we just (laughs) sink. Dude, but I, that's just one of those moments uh, from our past, dude, that I would just never forget, man. That is one of okay. my favorite, you know, favorite memories about I, I got two questions. Yeah. Did they wind up draining the pool? <laughs> they should have. Caddyshack. Un- unclear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> unclear if they drained the pool. All I know is they were not happy. Because no. When, no. when they got out, uh, they, they said, hey. And I was like, home early, huh? Hey, hey, guys. Uh, did did you have a good time? And they uh, and my neighbor fired back with, apparently we didn't stay long enough. <laughs> and I was like, Welcome home. And well, at this point, I still haven't noticed because I'm busy focusing on them. I haven't noticed <laughs> that Finger has already gotten out of the pool, grabbed his towel and jeans, and is hauling ass. Through their backyard, across their, I mean, like, there, there was smoke coming off of that fescue. I don't and, fuck around with that bullshit, man. I don't fuck around. Now, here's the thing about it. Now, here's, what, here's what's really funny is after they went inside, I was trying to formulate a plan. And I was like okay, here's what we're going to do. And I turned, and Finger was not there, and I turned back, and I saw the gate shut as he's running into my house. Like I said, man, I wasn't playing that shit. Yeah. You, I, you saw a trail of dust and a fucking swinging gate door. I'm telling you, the... I know. The Kentucky bluegrass was on fire, fire that he fire. he was he burnt through it so fast. Those were such good times, oh. man. 
All right. I think Good the pl- I think I think the plan was. I think the plan was. I'm getting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't fuck around with that bullshit, yeah. man. No, huh, uh-uh, man. The first one, some shit like that. Nah, man. I'm gone, man. See right. ya. See the ya. The second question is: Did anybody's dick pop out? No. Worst story uh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. There was. <laughs> No, we we didn't see it. No, no wiener schnitzel. No, uh, no, 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 yeah. no, no dick shots that day. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> your, your your editing chops are going to get a lot better. Oh, after today, this, after oh, this episode brother, is over, yeah. Editing one hundred and one, man. Yes. Nah, bro, we don't edit oh, shit. Well, oh, we try oh, not to. <laughs> right. what, what's editing? Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. well, Jesus, man. Um, yeah, those are just some great yeah. times, man. Yeah, um, there were. What else can we? What other embarrassing stories can we tell on oh, each other? Oh man? man, let's see. Um, Are we going to get to the iconics? Oh God! You want to do that uh, after the break? We can do it after the break. Where are we at on time? We, we're about forty-five minutes. So after oh, we go about yeah. five, ten more minutes, yeah. then we'll play. We'll play a special clip yeah, that I don't want to. You know, I'll bring that up when we get that time. Sure. You know? Absolutely. We'll 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 just sit here in silence until that comes up. All okay. Right. All right. <laughs> Well, um, hmm. so I saw this movie <laughs> had a uh, had I, I had some corn last night. Corn, corn. I like corn. Corn's yeah, good. It was, it was uh, sweet kernel corn. It sweet was not. Kernel. It's not not the. Uh, it was the canned. Uh, oh, it wasn't yeah. the steam oh, bag. Yeah. Oh, so oh, when you uh, when you just have corn, are you just <laughs> cobbling together a dinner? Yeah, that's exactly oh, what Jesus. it is. Okay. That was corny. <laughs> that was. Del Monte would can it. Mm. Hey, you want to hear a joke about a pizza? <laughs> it's kind of cheesy. <laughs> That's much better than what I thought you were. <laughs> Whenever you say, I want to tell you a joke, <laughs> my, my, my ass just kind of clenches up a little bit because I don't know what kind of joke you're going to tell. I don't really tell the off-color jokes anymore, man. I've mellowed Or any out. less. Or any hell. He's, he's, <laughs> hey. he's, he's definitely more than the dad jokes. I'm more than sure. the dad jokes oh, now. Okay, sure. man. I don't do the shock value shit as much, man. Now, I've kind of calmed down with some okay. of that shit. Right man. on, yeah, right yeah. on. You know, I've grown up, brother. Yeah. I have, you know, I've, I've definitely grown out. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I have, I've tried to grow have out. not. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, dicks and poop are still <laughs> oh, a farts for mine. And farts, man. Yeah. You got to throw farts in there. Well, you let, know? Me, let me go back to the original thing, because um, mm-hmm. we were talking about that picture of Josh on, on the sample. I've got a picture of you. I thought that was it, but it was another one where you just have this miserable face. <laughs> but there was a reason. It, it was the second Armory show. Spring Bash oh, 97. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. We didn't end up at Hayden's after that one because we lost so much money that yeah. we just yeah. wanted to go ahead and commiserate just, together. So yeah. I don't even think it, it was uh, the, the miserable shot wasn't even because of really that. It was because of something uh, that happened in the show. And I can't remember what it was. Is it? It's not where JJ took the chair. No, I think it was before. That, that. was the main event. That, yeah, that, was, that, was, that the, was the that, topper. That was the second. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was second show. Yeah, that was the second. That was the second and last show yeah. as far in as the, through the mo- yeah, through the ropes right. promotion. Right. But we have mm-hmm. to differentiate between when we were talking about those shows and shows that we did with Warren and yeah, all right. that other oh, stuff. Yeah. Right, well, right, are, we're talking yeah. about two different types yeah. of shows. Right. And then now going on into the Millennium Wrestling Federation, right. you know, even later right. on past that, you know, exactly. So there's Which been we different... we definitely need to talk about Warren at some point. Oh, we will, man. Yeah. You know, well, hell, let's talk about him real quick. Well, yeah, let's you know? do it. Let's do it, man. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, uh, going back to that second Armory show, I know, you know, stuff didn't exactly go right with it, but I have fond memories of that show. It was a good show. That was, that, it was just with everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I thought the whole show was good. Yeah. I mean, just let, didn't nobody really show up to right. it. You know, that's, that was a bummer. It was a dead. But the was show itself. That was, uh, that was Gordy and Barb. Yes, it was. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. And, uh, and a certain radio show that we thought we were going to have at the time that... Oh, with Through we the Ropes. Not, through the Ropes, yeah. which, mm-hmm. which, is a, which is another story, but... I would love, man. I know. I think we even talked about it on the holiday special. And I understand Chris Stowe, the co-host, you know, mm-hmm. the other uh, partner in, in the Through the Ropes. Chris Stowe's a busy, busy man. You know, like I said, we try to get him in here today. And yeah. he just, you know, it's it's really hard for him to be able to get out and do stuff. You know, he's got kids. And and he found out Josh was here. Yeah, and that was, that was, that he was, was a, definitely that was done. Con- well, we made, done. the mistake was you asked me to get to, in touch I, with him. I, like, I, so it's really your fault. It's my so. fault. I, I'm going to take it a is. complete it and is. total responsibility yeah. for that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but um damn i can't remember where i was going with it now man. i was going in a fucking circle dude I, yeah so I, this corn that i had last night <laughs> <laughs> but i mean you know going back to that show though it was a good show i remember having a great time oh, yeah. with it you know well, like with so, all of us it, it was just it was fun you right know, oh yeah all, right. Of, all of us together and definitely blew it off afterwards too. Oh, and, uh, yeah, and, i mean you know out. it's uh i mean and not to get old man about it here but god we were we were all so stinking young dude and we we didn't think we knew we were gonna take on the world and we were gonna win exactly man <laughs> oh brother it was full full yeah. speed ahead you know we were, it really we, was we were gonna wear makeup and go into bars <laughs> that's we, right we were, we, were, we, were, we, were gonna, we were we were gonna jump into rushing rivers <laughs> we were gonna make it we were gonna Dick's make it happen nothing, nothing out, can stop us so. rock out with your cock out <laughs> <laughs> well you know man we were talking about warren warren sharp who was the man who basically broke us into pro wrestling mm -hmm. uh um, you know, to kind of go back, and we'll tell a little bit about that before we go into our break. But, you know, that whole thing kind of started. It really, like I said, you know, it did start us in the the world or business of pro wrestling. Who got us that contact? Chris Stowe. Was Stowe. it Chris Stowe? Chris Stowe. Was it, I couldn't remember if it was Chris or Mike. Well, I uh, remember it, it was at a Mount Holly show. Mount Jim, Holly show. Yeah. Jimmy, and I, rem and I, remember the, I remember that show because the Carolina Wrecking Crew was outside with a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And they were yeah. and they were that's wearing they were wearing their mask and they were drunk. Yeah. And just talking junk to the uh, crowd that was about to go into the show. Yeah. 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 Um, Raising you know. hell, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we yeah we got that contact through Christo, you yeah. know, and a lot of that just came from going to the shows. Yeah. You know, we just show up every show, and then they finally started kind of seeing us around, and we were just so into it, and uh, we basically started training with yeah. him. You know, he had a ring set up. Um, he would bring a guy in every once in a while. Like I never really trained as hard. I was a manager, mm -hmm. you know. I, I, you know, I learned how to bump. That was about it. But you know, he'd bring in guys and they'd bump the shit out of us and you know beat us up a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one, we actually had a little bit of a, uh, a parting of the ways. Yeah, I guess you'd say. Me and Warren actually had an issue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Basically, what happened with that, and it was it was a fucked up situation, man. I mean, mm -hmm. that whole situation was pretty fucked up. And this is my side of it. Mm -hmm. But basically, um, I was working very early mornings. I had to be at my job at 630, and it was one of those jobs where, you know, we had mandatory Saturdays. And this was a Friday night show. Right. And I remember we had a Friday and a Saturday show booked back to back. We, and, and we were just breaking in. Um, so I remember calling when I was going to be on the road crew. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm sorry. I wasn't on the show, actually. So I called up Warren. I said, hey, I'd like to come to the show. Can I set up the ring and everything? Warren was cool. And Warren gave me a chance, and he was like, "Don't set up the ring. Be in the show. You can manage." So he gave me that shot, right. mm -hmm. and I and I told him, I said, "But look, Warren, I gotta leave as soon as I can because I forget where we where we were. But we were a good you, little. I, I, was it Belmont? No, no. no I, I think we were further no. out. Than I think that. it was further out, man. It was it was further out to, than Belmont. If it had been Belmont, there wouldn't have been an issue. It wouldn't have been that big of a problem. It seems like it may have even been South Carolina, possibly. I don't know. I, I, no, I, no, I don't no. know. I don't know. It was. It wasn't. It was over an hour. I remember that, man. It was well over an hour drive. That's just. It may have been on from the other all side the of stories that sir, I wasn't at that show, right. but uh, uh, from all the stories that I remember, uh, it was it was pretty good ways out. It there. was. It yeah. was. I want to say it was. It, I'm not thinking. Uh, I, I want to say it was like maybe, uh, like maybe out of. No, it passed Shelby or possibly this wasn't somewhere. Okay. It, it, it was it this was, wasn't the sun no. this wasn't you, you're the pretty sun sure Valley. it was Belmont I'm, I, I'm not man this, I, wait I still hold on this wasn't the sun hold on just one second this wasn't the Sun Valley High School show with Ron Rossi was it no no okay. no, no 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 this was an armory I remember okay. it was an armory I could have swore it was farther it was, out it was Belmont man. Yeah. Well, e e either way, you yeah, know, it yeah. may have been, man, because yeah. I still had to be up at, like, I had to be at work at 6.30. She managed Christo and, 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 and Biff uh, Beamer. Biff Beamer. It, it was fucking match. Belmont. It was. Oh, it was. Because okay. that was my first heel performance, man. You're right, yep. brother. It sure as fuck was. Mm -hmm. So I told Warren, I said, well, look, man, I do got to leave. And I said, but if you let me leave the next night, we were going to be in a stadium. It was an outside show. That was the Monroe. The Monroe show. Yeah. And I told Warren, I said, if you, you know, if you're cool with me coming in, working, leaving, then I will let you strip me down to my boxers the next show. He was like, "Fuck yeah, you know that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll do." So anyway, man, I worked the show. 
got over. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to brag, brother, but we got the fuck over that night. Mm-hmm. You know, had a lot of heat. And I'm walking out the door, and he's like, where the fuck you going? And I was like, oh, man, I'm heading out. You know, I got to work in the morning. Mm-hmm. He was like, no, you're going to stay and break down the ring. I said, Warren, I said, you know, bro, we talked about it. And, and he had some of his people around. And right off the bat, man, he was acting differently. Mm-hmm. He was trying to show out, man. You yeah. know, at least that's my view. He was trying to show off and be the hot hot dick, you know. Right. And I was like, bro, I got to leave, man. I got to be at work at 630, you know. And this was like pushing probably 10 o'clock at this point anyway. Because, you know, I stayed to after the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I did stay yeah. to everybody worked yeah. and everybody rest. I wanted to watch the show. And uh, so we got into a, a good little shouting match, you know. And he, he was, like, coming to, to beat me up and shit, man. He, you know, all of his boys and shit. So, I'm you know, obviously I'm talking shit as I'm backing out the fucking door, <laughs> you know. And uh, right before I left, I was like, man, fuck you. I grabbed my dick and I left. And, like, you know. <laughs> and uh, I was like, fuck you, man. I grabbed my nuts and walked out the door, man. He's Beautiful working. story. Oh, uh, man, it's, heart, it's so heartwarming. Yeah. But here's what happened, man. And it's something y'all might not know. Because I don't know if I ever even told you guys about this. But, uh, you know, the next couple of days, Stowe had been in contact, and they were, and y'all worked the next show. I didn't go. You know, I, I, yeah, I know yeah. showed that next night. I was like, fuck him. And um, that was y'all's last show, if I'm not mistaken, with Warren. Because I, I, yeah, I sure. know there was a lot of tension, a lot of heat yeah, there. Yeah. Well, you know, Stowe calls me up and says, yeah, Warren's talking all this shit about you, this and that. And I was like, well, man, you know what? Even though I was mad at the situation, he did break us in, you know, and he mm-hmm. did give me yeah. that shot. And I was like, man, I'm going to call him. You know, and, and if he wants to meet, man, fuck it. You know, if it's just me and him, you know, he's a big motherfucker. I probably have to really, you know, work on it. But there's no way I can stand up to him and like them three other motherfuckers was, you know, standing right there with him. Yeah. So I called him up, you know, cool. You know, I so, said, hey, Warren, I said, I know you talking to shit. I said, look, man, we discussed that. And brother, once again, it was like a fucking flip with switch. He was like, damn it, Jason, I know, man. He was like, I forgot we had already discussed that. He was like, man, I was so proud of you. You was getting all this heat. And, and we had a cool talk. Yeah. And, and I was like, man, you know, I never meant to disrespect you. I appreciate what you've done for us. And, and so we actually did end that relationship on a high note. Yeah. And, and, and we, you know, we both apologized and everything worked out. But, yeah, man, that, that you know, I guess the whole reason to tell that story is that is how we broke in yeah and that's mm-hmm. you know and that's eventually why the mwf was formed because we were like man fuck working for these promoters mm-hmm. you know fuck working for all these guys we don't know where they're standing we don't know if they're gonna flip on us we don't know this we don't know that let's just do our own fucking thing right and that's basically when the mw the seeds yeah of the mwf yeah. started getting planted man yeah. so that's something i always kind of wanted to put out there yeah. man you know in the in the course of these quote-unquote shoots mm-hmm. you know i like to put that out there and get that recorded and uh like i said man it was it was a bad situation it was a lot of heat, a lot of tension. Mm-hmm. It about got really fucking stupid. But you know, at the end of the day, we talked and everything did get get squashed. So that was cool. Yeah, you know, that was really cool. Right yeah. on, yeah. right on. Well, guys, we are at the halfway point. We're in an hour in. So this week, Mike Payne, brother. Yes. We got something cool as shit lined up. We're not doing a song this week. You know, usually we'll play a song from an independent band. Oh no. But we're not doing it this week. David Hayes, why don't you tell us? Tell us and all the puds out there what we're going to be doing this week, because you may have a little something to do with this. I, I think I do, and uh, since uh, tonight is going to be Money in the Bank, um, you know, uh, it's one of these things we're starting to do now after every pay-per-view, or at least we're going to try. Um, there's a wrestling news update that's on YouTube brought to you by Long Walk Productions, and this is a work. All right. Uh, so I think that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, man. It? Yes, it is. So we're going to go ahead and play that for you puds out there, but don't go anywhere because we're going to be right back. Welcome to Wrestling News Update. I'm David Two Dogs Hayes. I'm Chris Barnes, and I'm definitely wearing what I wore last time. It's been almost six weeks since WrestleMania, and wrestling fans are itching for another pay-per-view event. Meanwhile, the wrestlers themselves are kind of just itchy. It's because their health coverage is still shitty. Former Universal Champion Brock Lesnar has announced that he has retired from MMA, much to the disappointment of... Well, Drew McIntyre defended Roman Reigns recently, saying backstage he has the same command and presence that he has out in the arena, which is definitely the Superman punch of backhanded compliments. All Elite Wrestling has announced their TV deal with TNT, the same network that aired WCW Nitro. We'd call it history repeating itself, but no one involved with professional wrestling has ever passed a history class. Lars Sullivan is apparently undergoing sensitivity training, and honestly, no joke could possibly be funnier than that sentence. 
something something Charlotte Flair, something something Becky Lynch, uh, something something title belts. That's still better than WWE stuff. Lynch will be defending both of her belts at this Sunday's Money in the Bank, which will be the toughest two hours she's had since starring in the Marine Six. This week's Raw and SmackDown were both held at the O2 Arena in London, where Lynch entered the arena to a thunderous applause, marking the first time that the British have ever cheered for an Irish person. The winners of the Money in the Bank briefcases have free reign to challenge anyone at any time, making it the quickest way to advance your career now that Vince is out of daughters to marry. The fact that you have to beat seven other people, climb a ladder, and get a briefcase is just further proof that no one in professional wrestling has ever had a real job. After Money in the Bank, the pay-per-view the fans have already forgotten about, the WWE will be going back to Saudi Arabia for Super Showdown. There's no end to this joke because David and Robert are still trying to write one that won't get us all assassinated. And while some fans are upset that being in Saudi Arabia means we won't get to see any women's matches at Super Showdown, the silver lining is that Sasha Banks will get to throw a tantrum in her own home instead of the dressing room. We tried to reach out to Banks over her alleged outburst at WrestleMania, but never received a response because she's still holding her breath until she gets her way. And the Iconics have held the women's tag team title since WrestleMania, which is good news for their fans, but bad news for all the deer, some dogs, and fragile window panes. When we reached out to the Iconics for comment, they responded with, Iconic! And finally, it's been announced that Paige will be managing the tag team duo of Asuka and Kairi Sane, now known as the Kabuki Warriors. Now, if that sounds racially insensitive to you, just know that Vince McMahon had to be talked down from the Sushi Sisters and the Dog Eating Ninjas. All right, for this edition of Wrestling News Update, I'm Chris Barnes. And I'm David Two Dogs Hayes. Thanks for watching, and be sure to listen to the Money in the Bank episode of This Is a Work. <laughs> I'm going to say it right now. If there was a t-shirt that said Dog Eating Ninjas, I would wear that motherfucker right now. Oh I'm telling great, you guys, Great show, like, man. Gr great segment, dog. Hensley, <laughs> David Hensley from Long Walk Productions got so angry with me because I could not get the, the dog eating. I still can't do it. The dog eating ninjas. <laughs> out without Jesus laughing Christ, <laughs> i think my favorite joke was about vince mcmahon running out of daughters to marry yeah that was probably my favorite one they're all great man the whole yeah. fucking segment was outstanding but man those two geez, big Louise, shout man. out to david hensley and robert bradford yeah. sir just Bring in the comedy gold, and you got and you got to give a shout out to your partner Chris Barnes here too, brother. I mean, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, he's a yeah, idea. <laughs> you know, man, we are very Chris Barnes friendly here in the Pud Cave, man. Y'all's time and and you're just yeah. I mean, you just the comedic timing is impeccable, man. You know, once again, great segment. Well, see, you know, there's something else that uh, you you may or not know, uh, Chris Barnes, some of the stuff that he was doing in there is he's just riffing. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's just him. <laughs> it's it's borderline genius. He, he's he's a hilarious cat, man. I yeah, love man. him to death. Like I said, you guys, I think I even sent you a text this week. I was like, I could literally listen to you and Chris Barnes talk about paint drying, and I'm going to be entertained by it. Oh, my you God. You guys have a great back and forth. And once again, thank you, and thank you to uh, Long Walk Productions for allowing us to play that segment, man. We oh, yeah, that. man. Dude, it's just oh. one of the things. Thousands of things we're doing right now. <laughs> hey man, bro. Well, well, let's let's go from that from uh, borderline genius to borderline insanity. Kabuki warriors. <laughs> they actually wanted to be the Kabuki That's... girls. Did you hear about that? That that was their original. What they wanted. I figured Vince would call it the Kabuki experience. And uh... <laughs> oh, Jesus. let's just go back to the Oriental Express again. The Kabuki, yeah. the yeah. Kabuki Viking experience. warrior experience. Yeah, experience. What yeah. warrior experience? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But, but one thing I know that me and Smiley had a little little back and forth on Facebook here a couple of weeks ago that you guys brought up in that segment, two mm -hmm. dogs. Go ahead. The Sasha Banks situation. Mm -hmm. Me and you have a little bit of a different opinion on that, Smiley. If well, I'm not mistaken, and, and, let's and, talk about it. And I think more has come out in the last week because I know that the Iconics were interviewed and uh, have, said, have said that, you know, they if anything happened as far as Sasha Banks and her throwing a tantrum backstage, they know nothing about really? it. Really? Um, you know, they were very cordial to them. There's a, there's a picture. There's a, 
There's a very well-known photo that's been yep. all over the internet mm-hmm. of them, you know, kind of celebrating together backstage. Right. Um, and to be quite honest, some of the sources um, for that um, story about Sasha Banks, I am haven't been impressed with historically. Well, I, I, I will not disagree with you on that just because uh, some of these same... Uh, news sites, uh, quote, have, unquote. quote unquote, of uh, dirt sheets reported this week that the Nature Boy has been rushed to the hospital. That was actually on TMZ. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, it went yeah. beyond Turns out, dirt sheets. This was yeah. a Planned. standard procedure yeah. that he yeah. had an appointment yeah. for, and he's fine. Well, well, here's my thing about Sasha Banks. Now, I, and I agree with that. We don't know. And I mean, these are dirt sheets. I mean, geez, Louise, man. I mean, you know, professional wrestler, quote unquote, journalism has always been questionable. And, I think and we can all agree on your that. Your hero, Meltzer. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I love the man. Jeez, man. Fucking mm. Meltzer. Mm. Uh, anyway, we'll get to that <laughs> later. But uh, I think my, I guess, devil's advocate to that is, I mean, Sasha's gone. I mean, she's mm-hmm. she's left the company. She's no longer. Well, I mean, she's has not. She? Well, I she, don't think she has. I think she's still under contract. She, she's still under contract, but she's no longer working for her. I mean, like, she's not showing up to she's the She's not shows. on TV. She's not on TV. They she's, don't have her on TV. Right. right. But here, which could be a work. But here's the thing. You know. I never questioned whether she had an issue as far as creative direction. Right. And I think there's a lot of examples in the company right now for why she would feel justified to feel that way. Um, I think that, you know, it's turned into... Her and Bailey on the floor kicking and screaming like they're twelve year olds, right. which I just think is unconfirmed. And I not seeing you know, I just feel like that would have been if something like that had happened backstage, I'm just waiting for corroboration that I haven't seen yet. I mean, it seems like there's been more than just a few people that have come out to say that they did witness. And once again, I don't know. Now obviously I didn't jump you know head first in this story you know i'm just catching things here and there you know on the dirt sheets and things like that but you know um here's the thing and i I believe i said this last time kayfabe is still alive and well baby i mean yeah and we don't in the internet age we don't know how deep that rabbit hole goes it it could absolutely be a work absolutely that's why they're she's off tv because she's she's uh, she's off tv maybe she's being repackaged maybe we're we're tired well, of the legit this. boss. Let me, and let me ask you this: if it, if it's not, mm-hmm. say it's not, we're not being worked, you know, in, in many different ways. We thought we were getting worked with Dean Ambrose, yeah, right, right. That still has yet to be fully played out, right? Yeah. Um, if it's we'll not, we'll find out in a couple if, weeks. If, if, yeah. if it's not, yeah. if everything from especially you know you got this Lars Sullivan stuff going, does <laughs> WWE <laughs> need to be on social media? Do they need to be on social media? I think they, yes. I, I agree. I, I, think, I they think they have, they have to. I think be. they have to at this age. Really? Man. Or is yeah. it is it hurting them? I think if it's done correctly, I think we can bring Kay Faye back. I think it's kind it's of what done we wonders were. for Becky Becky Lynch. Absolutely, and it could do wonders for mm-hmm. Sasha Banks. But it's not doing very much good for the rest of the company. I don't. I, I don't think. I, I think the company. Maybe it's because I, they're not utilizing it properly. I, I think the company's issues. I, like I wouldn't put social media in the top five. I, I think with today's society, man, you have to be on social media. Okay, uh, you, you know what I'm let's saying. Look, let's look at the booking. Okay, they've got. Do we have to? But here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Here's, 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 that, that would be, and I, I'm. I don't mean to interrupt, but um, like, are there? There's some decisions being made right now that no level of effective social media strategy would solve yeah, I, Brother, you right, said right. that you exactly. said a mouthful so, but right they there. are relying heavily on social media to make their decisions in their booking and, and, and i'll even go with what josh was saying and even take a little step further not only is that not one of their concerns or the social media will help them out but to go kind of what you're saying mike i think social media is adding to those problems that they already have i think in other words man it's being broadcast you know we all get to see what's going on well, in, in real time yeah you know with we're Twitter. making these changes because Social media but, is making us but there make are, these changes. But, sure, but, yeah. but, but there are decisions that they're making, and 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 I don't even necessarily see how social media plays a role in them. And you know, to, to preface this a little bit, um, I had not I had not watched the product much for the last three years. Right. Um, you know, uh, WrestleMania was coming back to New York, 
um, last, you know, a couple months ago, and um, I was doing some work related to that, so I started, you know, keeping up with the product more. Right. And there are some things that, like, I've watched wrestling for close to 40 years now, right. and I've seen things that make no sense. True um, But, you know, there, there are certain things, and they're not even things involving, like, some of the main event things. There's some things that happen that to get through three hours of Raw, you you can't have too many things that don't make sense or right. you will just turn yourself off to like that whole show. Exactly. For example, really, it has to be really, well, for example, Bobby Root, Bobby Root. Yeah, that's Thank good, you. Good, that's a good yeah. example. So, okay. So he's, how about the wild card for another one? He, 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 he's jobbing with Chad Gable in tag team matches. Right. Mm -hmm. So they totally de push him. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. They totally de push him. So then they decide he's not going to be in a tag team anymore. They moved Chad Gable to SmackDown. They put a Joey Ryan mustache on yeah. him mm -hmm. and put him in a sequin jacket, call him Robert again, and say he's glorious. Right. And two weeks later, he's beating one of their top young stars, Ricochet Clean. Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I understand that we're supposed to, you know... Um, you know Winning a spot for money in the bank. Right. And then the next week... They had the exact same match, and where Ricochet went over. Jesus, man. So, yeah. so first of all, like I have a big issue with heels getting over clean, which, <laughs> yeah, which, yeah. which, that's that old school, which, yeah. which just has to stop. And it's not even an old school thing. It's like you, you, you can't do storylines that way. You're right. Bad yeah. guys have to cheat. Right. I, right. So, but, but that's like another issue. It's if you're going to completely repackage him, then he has to go back down to NXT. You, because otherwise you're saying otherwise you're saying because he got because we put a mustache on him and put a jacket on him and called him glorious all of a sudden he knows how to wrestle okay, again in yeah, two weeks right right yeah. he's automatically over now, now. if yeah. you wanted to go that. ahead and give him a quick push if you just decided that you made a mistake with Chad Gable ha Bobby Roode is a great old school heel he okay? is he's a great worker so you man. Just, I love, I'm you a big fan. if you were going to do this and I still argue after you de-push him that much if you could make him a contender again in two weeks but if you decide to do that Glorious is not going to help that. Having him squash Chad Gable after they lose a match and then going back to that old school persona, I would yeah. have at least, if they had done that, then I would have felt that the win over Ricochet was a little bit more legitimate. Right, right. Because that's old school heel. Hey, my... Hey, you I, had, your partner. I, I had a tag team partner who was no good, and yeah. that's why I didn't get anywhere. I put him down. Yep. I kicked, you know, I beat the hell out of him, sent him packing. You know, in this case, in the old days, it would have been to another territory, right. now it's to a different show. Well, then, and, and, then, and then I might have thought Ricochet made some sense yep. if he had cheated to win two weeks later. There See, you go. They even kind of teased old school it booking. That, that Bobby yeah, Roode that would turn on Chad Gable. They right. teased it. They mm -hmm. teased it for so long, but it seemed like. They just kind of forgot about it and just split and up. Just did it. Just did it. Well, just and did it. it. And yeah. then the same oh, yeah, thing we with for, we forgot to have him turn on Chad Gable. Yeah. And then the, the just the repackaging in general is just weak all the way around, except for maybe Bray Wyatt, which is still a, a little weak. I was, like it, I'm, Mojo I'm Riley. I am uh, liking the Bray Wyatt. Yeah, that so. kind of that's. <laughs> With his, uh, with uh, well, he he breaks a mirror and then he right. takes a felt pin to his eyeball and you know and that's what that's the gimmick and right. he honestly looks like Jim Carrey from Liar Liar is <laughs> the pin is blue, the pin is blue, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But I oh, think, the eyeliner he looks more like David Hayes at the uh, and, 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 bar and bistro. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> I don't need this kind of abuse. <laughs> but well, we were actually having a serious conversation for a while. <laughs> oh yeah, man. As serious as as serious as pro wrestling is. Oh my like, god, man. Yeah. That, yeah, that was way too much for us. Yeah. <laughs> We've never got that serious for that Whoa. long. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, well let me ask you guys this. What do y'all think about AEW coming up? What do you think I know you I'm guys I'm excited. I'm very excited. I know you guys mentioned something even in the clip that we just played about AEW going on TNT, you know, the mm -hmm. same network as Nitro and everything. Yeah. I think that's pretty exciting news, man. What do you guys think? Mike, you're looking at me kind of like maybe you're not as into it. No, uh I think, you know, with well, just in the past 24 hours there's kind of been a shake up as far as, you know, oh, what's yeah. going on with Pac. Pac and Heyman Page. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're not having their match calls uh, or due to uh, creative differences yep. now. Yeah. So Pac, I guess, is no longer... No, he, he's still, as as 
as things go, he's still signed with AEW. He just won't be in that match. In that match, he may not even be on the show. The show, right? But again, right. are we getting worked here? We, we don't, we don't that, know. That's the thing about social media now. Yeah. I mean, we can't. I mean, I think you know. We just brought it up, you know, slightly a little bit ago. Kayfabe can actually come back with you know social media and things of that nature if it's utilized correctly and done correctly i know. think kayfabe never went anywhere i think kayfabe is is the internet now but it is this strange it, it fell into a vat of toxic chemicals <laughs> and it is this Turned into strange, the joker <laughs> yeah it is this strange and you know eight armed six-legged thing that with two heads how and many a, dicks oh 15 but one of them. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Oh my god. But one, but one of them. Only one of the dicks. Oh yeah. Only one of the dicks knows how to wrestle. So uh, it's very disappointing. So, so that'll be the. I know, right? So that'll be the dick that does not go to WWE. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We call him Richard. No, no. <laughs> Just change his name. Yeah. Richard Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man. Anyway, but I, I tell you guys, I'm excited for AEW. I am too. You, you know, I think it's good that we were going to get a little competition. All right, let's it, talk about something we were talking it, about yesterday. Pay per view price. Oh yeah, man. How much is that shit going around? Like fifty. Fifty. That's too much for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was in until fifty. What the fuck? Honestly, uh, the WWE. Uh, has spoiled me on that with the network much, and everything. Much like I think he spoiled most of America. Any streaming service has. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, where I can, you know, fifteen bucks a month gets me. I thought it, it was nine ninety nine. It could be. I don't remember. Ooh, that's how. That's how much I don't you. care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, I don't even know the price of it. It's like, ask it's still me. not $50. It ain't 50 yeah. fucking dollars for one fucking show. No, yeah. if you yeah. told me a head of lettuce was 50 bucks, I'd never buy lettuce. I don't know anybody that would. No. Yeah. Now, <laughs> as, right now, ask me but how much lettuce is. <laughs> hey, you know. You're in on that lettuce if it's not 99 <laughs> It depends on the type. <laughs> well, now, but seriously, ask me what? now uh, what, what a head of lettuce costs. Uh, two dogs. Yes. <laughs> How much is a head of lettuce? I don't know. <laughs> and I buy one every week. <laughs> I would they actually almost... have it have it big numbers. <laughs> big, yeah, yeah. I don't give it. I, I, I could care less. It's... And I would still rather watch a head of lettuce in a WWE pay-per-view. <laughs> That's what's the so cool about it. The pay-per-views, the pay-per-views are with. pretty good, actually. Yeah, I do like most of them. has been stinking up the... Raw's good. Terrible. God, you know, see, I, I try to defend the new product. I do, guys. I really, really well, the do. The pay per views are but pretty good. It's, it's time for them to have a conversation similar to the one that they had in the night. It's they. It's time for them to have a Groundhog Day kind of a moment. Right. Back in the nineties, that whole Indianapolis meeting where they were talking about characters versus, um, you know, real like life personas. To, right, right. Lacey Evans. Okay. Uh. Okay. No. Okay. Go on. She's not only a, not only a marine, <laughs> mm-hmm. a real life marine, yes. yeah. a real life mar- member of a marine SWAT team, yes. the only woman in that unit. Okay, right. so like when people are like to like if like terrorists go and attack the marine base, she would oh. she would be one of the like literally she was like one of the first twelve marines who would go attack the terrorists. Right, right. Right. She's the real fucking deal, <laughs> and, she's in, and she's and she's. <laughs> <laughs> she's in a, I'm and they've got her, oh, and they've got her in a, and they've got her in a southern <laughs> bell gimmick. It makes, like, yeah, go, yeah. Is it gone from the wind <laughs> at Leather and Lace I West? I, mean, oh, I dig it. Oh, I dig. I dig. I dig. I dig the whole year. I know. I, I, I think she's a gimmick. And, cool. she, and she's got a great back. She's yeah. she's married. She's, she's like got a great back. She does. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's. Have you seen that light spread? No, I haven't. Really, pretty okay. I have, yeah, I have to Google but that. She's also married. Uh, she helps Boo. run a construction. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna. S- that ain't gonna slow me down. She. She. I, I'm here. gonna try to make a serious point. Right? Here I come. <laughs> Good okay. luck. Good this, luck. This, this, this is where we part ways. Okay. You like she yes, baby. Yes. She helps her husband run a construction company when she's not wrestling and is taking care of some of her siblings. <laughs> okay. She okay. who because uh, she's had this like. Tr- 
horribly bad childhood if you actually read her backstory. Right, right. So there's like so many real life components. You got anything for that? that? You no, can, well, well I did. On. I did. I wasn't. I, but I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> there are so many real life components to her story, and they put her in a Southern Belle gimmick. I I'm agree. like seriously. I, I think. <laughs> damn it, dude. <laughs> but no, I think you got a good point, Smiley. I mean, the gimmick's cool. It is cool gimmick, but you can put that gimmick I, I on anybody. I, 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 I disagree that the gimmick is cool. See, I do. I like the gimmick, but I think that her real life. But you have to. But why? You know, but why they but they made the decision not to do that over 20 years ago and that's when they had their most successful time as a company well like i said i could absolutely damn it these motherfuckers God. me and smiley trying to have a real conversation here <laughs> i'm spitting up all over the place over here. <laughs> this is what i'll say about the gimmick and the and everything i do like the gimmick i, I like gimmicks i like characters but i do think her real life experiences mm-hmm. would be a much better way to put her over yeah i'll say that man you, you know what i'm saying in other words i think if they would incorporate that into her storylines and, and portray what you were just saying mm-hmm. i definitely think she'd be more over and i definitely think even, it would even if they didn't want to do anything that's too goody two shoes yeah. she's she's a marine swat team I mean, veteran she could be the, they could have they could have her like you know the female coming, they could have her coming into the ring sneaking up on people and like choking them out like yeah, taking people hostage i, I was just stuff. about to say the female oh, sergeant yeah. slaughter Right. I mean, I mean, seriously, you could try to. You could put. Yeah, she. You know, yeah, she's sneaking behind. You know, put them in the cover clutch. Yeah. So, dogs, would you like to put Lacey Shh. Evans on the cover clutch? See, uh, <laughs> I, I was gonna, I, 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 I was gonna err on the better side on that one, and and now you're now you're coming at I, me. I'm with coming it. directly to you, bro. <laughs> I'm coming direct eye to eye, man. No, I think. I mean, I I, I love the gimmick. Um, I think it's the. The classy Southern Belle. Yeah. And let's call this what it is. Um, This, Lacey Evans has a Republican gimmick. Let's just call that what it is. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And that's why she's getting heat right now. I mean, people are, yeah. And I think it's a fantastic idea. Yeah. I, I because I haven't seen the. I yeah. I never. You, I have not picked up on that. Yeah, well. It's very. I guess Americana. It's, yeah, you, it's you know southern. what I'm saying. It's, it's like southern. a throwback to to the old female type. Of, you know, yeah. take care of your man. Woman, woman's know, place southern is bell, in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. She has but, how, wave, but how do you how do you, you do that and have a how do you do that and have a Ron Garvin knockout punch at the same time? Well, I, that's I just, right. Exactly. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Because. Right. Yeah, complete, because com- like I, all the Republicans, the right. she's a hypocrite. <laughs> you see how that works? See how we're see how oh, see God. how we're getting there? No, we don't go political here now. All right. No, no, no. no, no I'm, I'm saying, saying this is what they're thinking. This is the idea yeah, for yeah, the yeah, story. Yeah, sure, you you sure, are explaining sure, their sure, gimmick sure. as opposed to making a political <laughs> statement. Yeah. Okay, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's right. That's right. I. Well, how about the Iconics, man? We have not really ga- given the Iconics enough time on this Arn show. And really? Tully. Arn and Tully. Uh, Arn and Tully. Arn- sorry. Well, wait, wait. Shut is the it, fuck up. Is it? This is, is it? <laughs> wait, wait. I'm sorry. Which is it? Is it? You prefer Den- the Minnesota Wrecking Crew? Is it, Den- is, is it Dennis? <laughs> is it Dennis and Bobby or Bobby and Stan? Actually, That's some <laughs> complete fucking wow. bullshit right there. I, I actually equate them more to Edge and Christian. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I, I, I really do. I, I I, that, that is who yeah. I equate. Now let's call it the way it is. Mm-hmm. Are the Iconics great bell to bell wrestlers? God no, no, they're not. <laughs> no, are they on par with about everybody else that I'm seeing on the show? Seems to be. No, you don't think no. so? Really? Not anymore. I, I at one point I would have o- said they're way below. Now, o- Oscar uh, here recently, o- Oscar I and Kyrie saying against. The I, Iconics. Dude, I'm not... In actual ability to work a match. I have not seen Oscar work a good match yet. I've only been watching for about three or four months now. Please, I want to put that out there. I sure, didn't see her enough. when she first started. You're not going to see I've it. only seen a handful <laughs> of her no. matches. You're not going to see it in this past, you know, three months. Right. For sure. You know, which really <laughs> kind of... she hadn't had anybody to wrestle. All right. Well, I mean, the people that I've seen her wrestle, the, man, I'm not... Because I know me and Dogs, we've talked about this, you know, obviously outside the podcast. I've just not been impressed All with right. her, dude. 
I mean, I, I know you're like, well, she was great back in the day. And I'm like, well, fuck, man. I mean, it ain't been that long ago. Mm-hmm. You, you know, Five months ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, maybe uh, that's because she's yeah. in the ring with the Iconics. No, no, no. Easy now. <laughs> Easy, John. Well, I mean. <laughs> hey. uh, but here's the thing, man. I mean, can you always blame bad matches on the opponent? I mean, after a while. You can't if it's the Iconics. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm with that. I mean, well, now who did who? I've only seen her wrestle a, a handful of times, like mm-hmm. I said. But the first time I watched her wrestle was against Becky Lynch, you yeah. know. And I know me and you had a had a little disagreement about the match. I, dude, honestly, that match with Becky Lynch and Oscar that I watched, I can't remember what pay per view it was. It but was I, uh, Royal Rumble. It was the Royal yeah. Rumble. Yeah. yeah, it absolutely was Royal Rumble. I just remember watching the match like. This, this is it was not good no I, it, I disagree I disagree I thought it was good because yeah. I know people are saying like this is one of the best matches yeah. this is the standard and I'm like if that's the standard and this is just me but I'm like if that's the standard mm-hmm. brother the standard's pretty low I mean that was my opinion yeah. you know and I have yet to see Oscar work a match that I was like hey she's really good I, I've seen, you know man like right now my favorite women's performer is probably Bailey you know obviously I don't know where I she's agree. at right now I agree uh, I think Bailey is tremendous obviously Charlotte obviously yeah. I like Becky Lynch I think mm-hmm. Becky's a good worker uh, the rest man I can't really put other than the Iconics even their bell to bell I admit is what it's, I like about it's a the, dumpster fire but pretty much like the rest of the roster, other but than those people. But it is people. hilarious. That's my thing, that is man. A they funny ass dumpster fire. Fucking <laughs> hilarious, man. I love the it's gimmick. Tough. I love the charisma. The I, I, I and I think, man, they're probably the only true, honest to God, heel tag team that's out, regardless of which division. I mean, yeah. I mean they really are a team. You're not wrong. I mean, and I like that. I hate them. <laughs> but, <laughs> which is good. I mean, that's what they want. You, you know, I mean, yeah, they're aggravating. Yeah. They're they're absolutely. They get on your nerves. Absolutely. They aggravate you. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, uh, mission accomplished. The, the monkeys <laughs> were a true tag team too. So wait now. <laughs> Now, you see, this is why we've never had you on the podcast. <laughs> hey, they, even but, the, hey, the monkeys but, but were I think, I think, I think a lot, I think, But I think a lot of your reasoning for liking the Iconics is because they brought them up from NXT and kept them together. Yeah. Other than anything they've actually accomplished. Yeah, man. It's like they have consistency with them. Yeah. But, but what have they done? Other than make like, well, they won the fucking belts. <laughs> they, 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 okay, uh, yeah. Somebody backstage. Somebody back. Them yeah. Well, somebody. Somebody you know wait. I mean. Somebody you backstage know. said you're winning tonight, so that doesn't mean they got over. No, their well, jokes I mean, are hilarious. They are hilarious, man. They are hilarious. Hilarious. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're I like welcome. the iconics. Well, let me. I, I do too. I tell you, there's only one other uh, in the female division that I would put over them would probably be Nia Jax and uh, no. Tamina. You don't think no. so? Really? No. no. What? Really? I I like I like Nia Jax's gimmick. Um, that's uh, I, I like the the size factor that yeah. goes into the women's division. That's where it ends for me. Really, uh, really. I, like I, I was. Spe- what did you think about uh, Tamina and, and Nia? Smiley. You know, I think that, um, you know, it's obviously a different look. Yeah. You know, I think um, that's a, you know, that's more of an opportunity to create a tag team. There you go. That is a different experience than, that's a different experience than the Iconics, which, you know, I mean, and, I, and I'm and i not just, you know, I know. You're about I'm, to shit on the Iconics, aren't you? Yes. Yes. I am. But, you know, there's, <gasps> <laughs> there's a lot of. I'm just saying there's a lot about the Iconics that reminds me of what was wrong with women's wrestling before they had the revolution and what was you know, wrong not, what, what was wrong with they, could, they couldn't wrestle okay good, good point I'll give you that but let me ask you they, uh, they, 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 they couldn't they, they had they not could, been they taught by wrestle. Mola Oh, they, <laughs> we'll get to move. On. We'll get. I just watched that show last night. I just watched I, that. Last I've, night. Heard, I've heard. I, I, watched, right. watched I mean, it, it's, I mean, you have more. Wow. I mean, but, I mean, let's. I mean, you have more. I mean, they all came from athletic backgrounds, but when you come from judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu and other things, as opposed to coming from cheerleading, you're going to get a different experience as far as uh, what the what they can do in the ring. So you're telling me that Trish Stratus, Lita. 
you're Gail talking. Kim. Wait, uh, well, I'll no, stop. Yeah, okay, no, I'll yeah, stop let, you. Let's we're get. Talk, let's we're talking page. about a middle. We're not talking about that era. Okay, okay, okay. So give me some. Uh, we're performers. talking about divas, divas after Lita and and. Uh, Stratus. Trish, Stratus. We're talking about Bellas. We're talking about. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Um, um, Jesus. Uh, see, they're all cool. See, they're like they're Kelly. Still, Kelly, Kelly. See, they're Kelly, already, uh, they're already Candace forgettable. Michelle. They're already uh, forgettable. They are forgettable. Right. Uh, I'll give you that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we are. I love the girl cool. death. Okay, I love you, the girl gotcha. death. What? What's her name? Um, the crazy one. Um, Nikki Cross. No. Mickey James. No. I like Mickey. Um, the crazy one. Yeah. Um. Uh, see. Oh, um. Oh, CM Punk's wife. No, AJ. We, no. Oh, AJ's. AJ's great. Yeah, I AJ like AJ. Was, I thought well, AJ was pretty and, good. And that, and tip of that beginning yeah. of something different. The revolution. And, yeah. and that's why I, you know, Page? when no. when they. That's why. Further I, back. Yeah. Oh God. Um, God, see, there were so <laughs> many, <laughs> and they the all Jeopardy? looked alike. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she's she's actually still wrestling, but she puts, Victoria. No, she Victoria was good. No, she Victoria's still really wrestles, good. and she but she's putting everybody over every time she has a match. Uh, who is it? Uh, the crazy one, uh, Nikki Cross. Uh, she was with uh, the um, Jinder Mahal for a little while. I have no oh. idea. Oh, um, um, I have no clue. Uh, well, well, let me ask me. you guys this. Um, how I mean, you know, we were talking about how like the diva that era, like mm-hmm. how nobody could wrestle, right? And I'll give you that because yeah. you know, once again, we had to kind of di- I had to di- differentiate between like the Lita and all that era and the Trish, you know, to what we are now. But my my point, Alicia Fox, yes, that's Alicia the Fox. one. Thank okay. you. There it is, Alicia Appreciate Fox. It. Yes, yeah, she was. Okay. Yeah, like like oh, okay. two weeks, I'm sorry. maybe three weeks, yeah, they, something like that. They had a sh- yeah for she. They had yeah. It wasn't long term mm-hmm. in which she no. went crazy, but she did for a while. Yeah. So. yeah. My whole argument with that though is this: it's like, and I get what you guys are saying, like the Bellas especially. I mean, dumpster fire on pond, dumpster fire. But other than some of the the performers I just mentioned, like Becky Lynch, like a Charlotte Flair, I can't even really put Ronda Rousey in that because I've been kind of in and out with her. You, you know what I'm saying? Well, Rousey's gone now. So yeah, I knew she had actually. I I thought Rousey was actually really becoming what she should have been at been. the very end. Right, but it took her to that, yeah, and then now she's gone. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. I guess my point is that diva era, hardly nobody could wrestle, but my, I guess, retort to that is in today's current uh, female division, who really can, other than those people I just mentioned? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know Sasha Banks, going back to her, once again, I call her the bot. Well, I didn't call her the botch master. I mean, I think Rusev called mm-hmm. her that. But every match I <laughs> well, saw with her, man, well, it was it was a the dumpster legit fire. botch. We right. also, yeah, the, I, now that's yeah. mine. You know, I came up with that. It one, is hard. To, her. It Nikki is hard. To, can. It's hard to compare mm-hmm. the eras because yeah. you know, ten years ago, you didn't have you know Death Ray, Sarah Amato training these you, folks yeah, down in Florida. Florida. Exactly. Sure, yeah. So yeah. you know, uh, and and they they didn't have the revolution, and mm-hmm. like, who right. would have known? You know. But I still think, as a whole, if you look at, you know, Becky Lynch, you know, who has a jujitsu background and a little bit more of a, um, you know, Shoot background type. Right, right. As opposed to Alicia Fox, I still think that, you know, if you look at the quota and, and the comparison between, there's a lot more athletes that yeah. have more of a combat sports mentality I as opposed you. to just finding someone who has an athletic background and trying to teach them how to wrestle. Had a bump. You know, I mean, I feel yeah. like, I feel like, you know, eight or 10 years ago, it was in a lot of cases like Natty Neidhart looking for an opponent because she's somebody who could wrestle there you go. Rousey, even though yeah. Rousey wasn't that great a technical wrestler. She um, could get a match out of her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, 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 Ra- and Rousey and Rousey was physical enough. I like enough. Sarah Logan. Rousey was physical I enough really, to make her look good. Right, and that, that's a good point. And one thing I'll say about the women's division today, for one, I think it's great that we actually have so many women in it that we can actually have a Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Right, I think that's fucking awesome. Well, we're close anyway. We're, we're yeah. close. I mean, they'll yeah. bring them out of NXT and everything, but I still mm-hmm. think it's wonderful that you got at least that many women in in the sport. Right, to do it. And, and something else I'll say about the women's division that I think that they got in spades over the men's division is they have real characters. I mean, they actually do have characters. Yeah, right. Like I, I am more involved in some of those characters than I am with the men. In fact, there's not a whole lot of men that I give a shit about in WWE. To be completely honest mm-hmm. with you, I mean well, the Becky Lynch thing, man, is being well, just something else. They, they've done so many things to uh, de push <laughs> people and and frankly disrespect the fans. You know, I was talking about the Bobby Roode thing earlier. Um, the 
the Rey Mysterio thing has made me not watch a couple, like stop watching a couple of episodes. Right, right. I know. He's a he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Right. Easily, like oh, when yeah. he retires, oh, he's he should, going in. When yeah. he retires, he should go into the hall <laughs> that, like that Edge year. did. Yeah, right. yeah, agreed. and no question about it. He loses in a minute at WrestleMania to Samoa Joe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So and now then I think that, now let, then but but wait wait uh, no I'm sorry but just one second he okay. he does he does that he gets squashed by Lars Sullivan right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right. and two weeks later they have him at the start of Raw as one of the four guys you know challenging for the title. Right. Actually, with Seth Rollins. After being beat dis- distinctively. Right. After just yeah. being squashed Twice. for weeks, which you shouldn't do to a first ballot Hall of Famer anyway. anyway yep. And then to do that and then try to present him as a title contender, um, you know, that's just one of the, like the Bobby Roode. Um, it's just one of those experiences where I'm like coming back after three years and saying, you know, I'm not a booker, but I should be able to finish, figure this out. Exactly. If, if you know, if, is that is and, and I have the questions like is that what Bruce Pritchard is back for is he there to try to fix this if he's here to fix this if he can't fix these things within a couple of weeks I understand there's like long got, term right, I understand right. there are long term structural issues that you have with storylines right. but there are some things that he should be able to fix in a couple of weeks right and well, if he not can't the first show I mean and, you know. it, and if he can't then like I don't know if their structure of how they do things is already so baked in the cake that Bruce Pritchard, as much experience as he has in the business, can't make a difference. Right, right. In other words, it's just built in now. Like you just said, baked in the cake. I mean, there's no way. It, it almost, you'd have to tear down the whole foundation right. and rebuild. Now, yeah. dogs, what, what were you going to say? Well, there are a couple of things. Um, first of all, I, I think Pritchard and the new writing team has been there for, uh, what, about six weeks, maybe eight weeks Dude, now? I just... Um, I just read that there's 40 writers yeah. uh, in, in WWE. 40. And, but 40. I mean, that whole Why the fuck do 40. you need that many? Why do you no. need 40. that many wrestlers? <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I mean, fuck yeah, you man. Got, you need really? 40, you need 40 writers to book that many people. Seriously, I mean, man. It, really. Yeah. It's, um, no, that, that's, it's way too many chefs spoiling the broth. Absolutely. Um, I think uh, with that new writing team that I, I want to say probably been in there for two months now. Right. Um, I agree with Josh. If you can't write, and you know, the you just ship, said that while we're recording. As, you just said I agree with Josh, and we have that on tape. Just want you to know what you just did. That doesn't sound like anything I would say. Well, we're, it's we're, becoming a sample. It, it, next it's week. a sample. It's uh, a sample. No, I, I think it's, uh, that's, it sounds like Thank you're, you. you're manipulating my voice. I, much no. like, much <laughs> like when Shane McMahon. Uh, Manipulated uh, mankind uh, saying I quit Where which he up. didn't. You know these things. These things used to aggravate me about dogs. Now I have a grudging level of respect for this. The way he's just able to deny reality. It's just something like I just want to go shake the man's hand and be like, or just shake him. Well, you <laughs> what not are you doing? The first person. You're not the first. Uh, not the last. Not not the last. All right, but but with this, you know, are we looking at? Because I even thought this, you know, you talk about work and shoots. Are we looking at this this whole dumb run of, of WWE? Is this them getting the dumb out, mm-hmm. laying back, sitting back, waiting until see to, to see what Cody yeah does AEW. down there yeah. and down where down there down there. <laughs> uh, wow! Just to Thank see you. what they do, where they come out with before they even blow their, their load beforehand that is a strong sitting back, point sitting uh, back on their strong just, stuff just kind of kind of waiting to see and you know yeah, i mean that's i'll possible, be honest but. mike that makes a lot of sense and i'll tell you what i remember uh you know you guys were talking about classic mwf the other week right, um, right. i remember when we were going through our transitional period um and we were kind of, I don't really remember the the significance of, uh, which, by the way, that was a great episode, by the way. Oh, thank uh, you, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, we were going through our transitional period, and there was a lot of, well, we're waiting on this, and we're waiting on that. And so there was like, there was like four shows, like, that was just right in there. 
and the way you, me, and Chris Williams or Chris Stowe had had worked this out is like, okay, we're just gonna get through these four shows. Yeah, and I believe I want to say it was a June show, as because for some it was reason, after a super show. We were yeah, booking, we were trying to get to the super show, like, then we were going to start doing some stuff mm, or whatever. I was yeah. saying it's like we're and for some reason June third is in my head. Damn, dude. That's, I know. I Jesus, well, it's because that, we. That, that's good. <laughs> the reason I, I'm saying it is because I had said it so much. I was like, okay, if we can get to June third, that's all we have to do is get to June third, and right. and I would tell the boys. I was like, guys. Listen, just don't pay any attention to what we're doing right now. We are trying to get to June third, right? And because we had some ideas and stuff, we, we were going, we had some going ideas to start laying we out. To yeah, 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 and there yep, was yep. there was crazy. Well, it was transitional. It, yeah, everything right. was transitioning, and 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 there was there was also money issues yep. and. We didn't even know we were actually going to get to June 3rd. Saying there was money <laughs> issues is like saying the sun shine one day. Right, I mean, I know, come on. Like, yeah, trees are made of wood. <laughs> and uh, Money issues? <laughs> well, you know, I think <gasps> they're, no they're waiting to look at, you know, the creative product. They're also waiting to look at whether that business model works. Uh, right, mm-hmm, they want right. to... Uh, AEW does is not signing tons of people. Right, right. Um, and Which I think is a good idea. Well, yeah. it's a good idea until you have uh, a Daniel Bryan CM Punk situation where you have two stars of that level who are gone quickly. Yeah, and I that's think true. that's yeah. kind of I what, what you're saying. I think yeah. that's kind of what pushed WWE into kind of an era where um, you know, we just want to keep the ball rolling. We want to keep the network going. We want to have a bunch of B-level players who are reliable. Right. It's almost like WWE quit creating stars like in, there's no more hogan's there's no more stone colds there's no more rock but sometimes that's you know? sometimes that's more of a business model that's sometimes well, I, that's I, more of an saying. intentional attempt right i, no, I, I agree I, I, right. I think it is intentional yeah. i absolutely think he it's uh yeah, in I see fact, what saying. yeah. vince's i, I want to say that pritchard says said this but i could be wrong about it uh vince does not want 15 a-list superstars right, right. He either wants two to three or none. None, none at all. Like, because if he's got more than that, then that's 15 to 18 A-list superstars that he has control. That's, right. That's and WCW. they can all yeah. walk out on him. It's WCW. WCW, mm-hmm. brother. Yeah, that's a good That's a good comparison, man. And I think what Josh is saying, that makes perfect sense, too. You know, like we're talking about the Daniel Bryan CM Punk thing. Well, you know, if you only have a couple of these A-listers, mm-hmm. And they get hurt or leave or whatever. Well, then what? Mm-hmm. Y- well, yeah, I was. Well, I was. I was actually at the um, holiday show in New York that WWE had the house show that sells out Madison Square Garden right. several years ago, um, and that was back when Daniel Bryan and um, and CM Punk were still there, and they uh, had a full house show in Chicago that same night that also okay. sold out right right uh so obviously there are a lot of benefits to do that i think cena and randy orton were the main event in new york right. and then they had of course cm punk in chicago right and cm punk in chicago at that point was a sellout yeah. regardless you, know, you of could have, you could have yeah. had him and three nxt guys and you would have it sold, sold it out. out right uh so i mean they can't do that right now but that's you know their business model has changed right but you know in my opinion that's as a fan i'm not a fan of that business model you know it and, and i get it and i see the reason behind it but you know to me i want to see stars right. you know that's what i want i want to see another stone cold now obviously uh not pervading you know i mean somebody who's coming into their own you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying yeah who would you put for the next stone cold right now like if no. if we're gonna push somebody if we're gonna make somebody the next and let's let's call it what it is yeah, Stone Cold is kind of self-made, kind of. Well, sure, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the reality is Stone Cold had uh, a lot going for him. Charismatic. He was over 10 damp, years experience. A yeah. lot of it, a lot of experience. Yeah. Can work his That's what ass I'm off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll so get, you need those three and can work that mic. It, it, so you got those four. Who in the WWE can do that right now? I don't know if he can do all of these things. You guys are going to laugh. Finn Balor. I mean, I, I wouldn't laugh at that. First of all, I, 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 I love... First of all, I love... I don't... I love I love a classic... I, I'm. There's never really been anything quite like him. Kind right. of a classic babyface 
um, who 90% of the time can, you know, beat you the old school way, and then 10% of the time when, you know, the odds are against him, when he can't overcome this, when he has no other option, because he almost doesn't want to do it. Right. Because he's really not that guy, but when he has to, he becomes like a demon warrior. It's like a combination between like a gimmick but something that's authentic and yeah. and and here's the thing yeah they were going with him in 2016 and then he got hurt right mm-hmm. right so like they were heading in that direction with him and it was like he got hurt he came back and then by then they had kind of entered into this nxt we're bringing up right. four guys every month and therefore we can't really get anybody established exactly exactly but there you know, I, I, I think I mean, the only thing he got this the only reason he got that spot, and I hate to say this, but it's because Roman got in trouble with the with the drugs, with that's the wellness. Tr- yeah, well, that's the, the, true. The yeah. only reason yeah. Stone Cold won King of the Ring was because Triple, Triple H, H got in trouble for the, the Madison Square call. Garden. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I mean op- good, opportunity, good yeah, opportunity happens in the business yeah, for that's, a number of reasons. Yeah. I'm going to tell you who I think, and I know I've given this guy a lot of shit on this podcast, but I always thought Kevin Owens could have had that potential. I mean, really. I, I still think he does. I, I love Kevin Um it's the look that I'm worried about. That's my only thing. It's the look. As much as I shit on his look, man, it is different. You it know, is different. I, 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 you know, and I do. But fuck is it with him. good? I think the guy could. The only thing, once again, I think WWE I does. I just don't is, think it's going to sell shirts. So, you know, like The Rock, like Austin, Stone Cold, yeah, like Hogan. Michaels, like Hogan. I will say this: I've been unimpressed with the product in general since coming back to watch it a few months ago. Um, but Kevin <laughs> Owens with Kofi Kingston. Has been one of my favorite things to watch. Uh, just and burn, burn, not yeah, not yeah, only do I yeah. think that they performed well, but I think the booking has been unusually good for it. Yeah. Especially when Kevin Owens became, you know, part of their crew. You knew he yeah. was going to turn on him. Yeah, and sure, you knew absolutely. he was going to turn on him quickly. I just wish they would have. I do wish they'd have drug that out a little bit. I, but I do. here's the thing: even when they did what was expected, they did a little bit of a swerve. Right. Mm-hmm. He didn't just attack Kofi. He took out Xavier Woods. Right. He took out his friend. Right. It reminded me of Rocky IV. Okay. It reminded okay. me of Rocky IV with, you know, Dolph Lundgren, Lundgren you know, uh, down taking, Apollo the, Creed. taking down Apollo right, Creed. Right, right. And his friend having to get revenge and turn okay. Kofi into a little bit more of... An Avenger? Uh, a little bit more, and it, it turned him into. He's always going to be a fan favorite baby face, yeah, but that yeah, turned yeah. him into a little bit of an angry. I'm the champion, but I have to come after you. I'm coming after you. It's personal. So you have it's as mu- I have as much reason to get you as you have to get at me, it, it, which you rarely can create you do, with a champion contender yes. scenario. And surely it's the kind of thing. That, it's the kind of thing the Horseman could do back well, in the day. I, I was just about well, to say, because yeah, Ric Flair, Terry Funk. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. one of my favorites. That's yeah. a good mine too. Yeah, that's Old Yeller, good one. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, that was yeah. good stuff. Take him out the back. <laughs> that. Uh, we took when out. I had a jackass, <laughs> jackass, he took him out in the back. <laughs> wow, he shot him in the head, and I said, "Daddy, Daddy, <laughs> why did you shoot my jackass?" He it was, said, "Son, that jackass had no purpose anymore. <laughs> he is no good to our operation. <laughs> now we can't shoot Dusty Rose, or we can't shoot <laughs> Ric Flair, <laughs> but we can put him out to pasture." <laughs> that was one of the great God, greatest. Oh, it was so oh dude, it's Terry so Funk. You know, when they finally God. paid that off with the I Quit match, they had that yeah. match in Troy, New York, and they tried to play it. WCW back in the day, and I know this is taking a little bit of a sidebar, dude, but that's, all we do. that's okay. okay. That's all we do. But they they tried to play that office. We're having this in New York. Do you have any idea how far Troy, New York, is away from like right. actual yeah. New York? Right. It's like yeah. that's co- it's in, like in the uh, sticks, right? <laughs> it's 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 upstate. Right. It's yeah. just I, it's just coming from New York, and so that's a, that's something it's that above I, <laughs> the Empire State Building. Is that what, is, is that <laughs> something yeah, like that? Right. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Okay. They were probably just, closer I'm in just, Philadelphia. I'm just gonna agree. Probably. I'm just yeah. gonna agree with dogs from now on. So it's, best, it's a lot easier best way to do it. It's like yeah. up past 32nd Street, I, I would imagine. <laughs> Troy, New York, <laughs> Highway 11. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, guys, y'all talked about Kobe Kingston. Past Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh well. It all 
eventually comes back to the beginning of the show, doesn't it? It always circles, brother. It always circles. But I want to talk about Kofi just for a minute because we are kind of getting toward the end of the show here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think Kofi could actually be that star. I really do. Kofi's over, man. And he's good. And he's got the time and experience in. I think Kofi, if, if booked correctly... I think with his career, I think he's, I got think good he's a good talker. I, I just don't think he's a great talker. I, had, that's well, my issue right there. Okay. But I also think that he had one opportunity to, before this to do that, and this was a few years ago when he feuded with Randy Orton. Yeah. Right. He and I, that. Right. right. And I it, thought, didn't, it didn't work out. No, but I don't think it did. I, I thought he nailed several parts of that. When he, like, you know, took out uh, Orton on top of that, um, oh, God, what was it? It was... Um, uh, like one of the, the sound mixers and oh you know, yeah, 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 yeah 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 that and was you, cool and, yeah and, yeah and you d- again you didn't think that Kofi could do something that was that evil because he's Kofi Kingston right. this cool Laid baby back, face yeah. guy who when he needed to do something that dastardly <laughs> in order to get out, over on somebody like I think he showed that he could do it and I felt he was booked well in that situation I have no idea what happened to that I think it's just once again the, the writing team just not being consistent I, I, I think they just changed their minds well, I think, and drop shit you know which is well, easy to do when you have 40 guys exactly, on the exactly. team and, and then Vince McMahon and one, one of those guys work. being Dana Warrior apparently that's not working out that good no well, way who knew uh, yeah who could but, have seen that coming? We also for, forgot a, a name in there that was super huge and was super over. Uh, it was John Cena. Well, now I think Cena w- hit that point. Yeah, I, yeah, I really well, do. He yeah, was. yeah, he, he, yeah, was, he was the man. He was super over. He he was th- their that, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He, that he, era, he, that was that was him. He, yeah, yeah, it was definitely the Cena era. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. But, and I, I think yeah. they've tried uh, the Miz. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the Miz to I me, just, I think I it's there's his something time. missing. Missing? Think, There's something missing. But this, 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 this <laughs> Miz, it misses. I, I think. No, we're not kind yeah, of put out I, any Miz information here. All right. We're not trying to Miz inform you. I don't, don't want to be mistaken. <laughs> at all. I think this is his time, guys. <laughs> I do. I ain't even selling that shit. I, I ain't even worth selling. Well, I think it's just hit or miss. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but, all right, that one was fun. That was good. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> but this does go back to their business model because don't, don't, no, don't try it. <laughs> no, if the, I can't remember if it was CNBC or ESPN, but at one point a few years ago, when Cena was at his height, they estimated that Cena was responsible for like twenty-seven percent of the company's money. Right. right. That one guy between what Everybody. they felt he was responsible in as far as ticket sales, merchandise, this, that, and the other. Right. And if you have one 27% guy and all of a sudden he wants to do movies or the Today Show or anything else, and you don't have uh, the creative um, staff, no matter how many writers you have in order to replicate that, then, uh, you know, you can take a tumble pretty quickly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, guys, i tell you. I Hold think, on. There's uh-oh. one more thing I want to talk about. All right. This goes back to WrestleMania, too. Okay. But it's actually... Coming up on the uh, Super Show, Saudi Arabia. Oh, uh, Super Letdown super Part let Two. Down, super Letdown. Why the fuck? I, and, and we got a contract. Ma- we got to honor. That's uh, that's what it's in. How much money do you think no, those guys are I'm making? I'm talking about one match in particular. Goldberg and Undertaker. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Yeah, okay, now uh, I know uh, why. Because oh they, yeah, I mean it's you know money. it's money. I it's mean money. they are names. They're they're they are so over there. It's money. Yeah, absolutely for sure. To be fair, guys, WWE's not booking that. The princes are booking. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, that's yeah. that's, that's a shoot for real. Yeah, <laughs> they're you're talking about that. you're not talking about Shane McMahon either. No, no, no not no. the prince of WWE, but yeah. the prince of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. But that's it, man. I mean, they are names. They're draw I me. Mean, people love the Undertaker and they love Goldberg. They said they, they said this is who we want to see. Even though we all know it's going to be a stinker. Oh, I mean, I mean we gonna, know it's going to be a stinker. Oh, it's going to be awful. But, no. you and, know. Until we get, I've been debating on whether, I was like, should I even cover this on This Is A Work? It's, I thought. I absolutely thought, should. I think you should. Yeah. It'll, you it'll have make, an obligation. I was going to say, it'll make some You're good, right. It'll make for some good entertaining stuff, man. I you mean, know, we you know. might we might do what we did uh, uh, last time with Super Letdown and, uh, and just do it right after the show. Right after you watch it. 
and yeah. just and so we're just gonna do it while we're drinking and i was like <laughs> i'm gonna tell you something i don't uh, why are we gonna do superstar shake up when we got the when we got the wild card and why is wild card why can the wild card invite friends <laughs> when did this become a plus one thing what is this a wedding <laughs> i don't understand it <laughs> yeah jesus man what do you what do you think josh um, you know, as far as Saudi Arabia, or they, you know, well, as far as you know, well, booking Undertaker and Goldberg, yeah. And you know, Hogan will probably be there as well. You know, I, I'm not gonna. I don't want to oh. take too much of an aside about this. Um, I'm not gonna. You know, there's until uh, I find out a little bit more about what happened. Well, I already know what happened, but uh, there's a journalist Jamal Khashoggi mm-hmm. who was right. Uh, right, I, right, right, right. Yeah, I, right. I, I, you know, I can't say much more about it than yeah. I won't be participating in yeah. watching anything that happens in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, gotcha. And, and, I, pr- and I, pr- not alone. And I, yeah, and, I, and, I, and I, and I pretty much have to leave it at that. I yeah. got you. Okay. No, that's you, a good place to. You, that's yeah. a good place to leave it, bro. You're yeah. you're not alone, and there's a lot of wrestlers that are thinking yeah, same in the, way, on the same yeah. same lines as you. Plus the women. And I do not disagree. Not cool. So. Well, guys, I tell you, I'm sorry, I can't do one more. Absolutely, thing. man, absolutely. Rest in peace, Ashley Masaro. Absolutely. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's, let's absolutely. talk about that. Let's talk about that's what, what, what we've talked about quite a few times. Silver King, right? Oh, Silver King mm, as well, man. I yeah, about Silver, Silver King. King. One of the most underrated, under probably underappreciated performers from that Nitro era. I mean, yeah. You know, why would the Luchas have been without Silver King? Oh, yeah, man. Was, I mean, we love joy. Silver King. I mean, yeah. it was yeah. always a joy to just you know just to see those guys and watch them. Yeah. We, you know, we made fun a lot of times, but that that's something that we hold dear. Yeah, and, and you know, same thing with Ashley. You know that. I mean, I, I obviously she wasn't. God, how, how to put this respectfully? She wasn't a she wasn't a household name. No, right. I don't uh, think she'll ever be a Hall of Famer per se. No, no, you know, no. But I mean, she she was there. She did yeah. her thing, and mm-hmm. I, I think it was an apparent suicide too. Is that correct, Josh? That's you heard that? What they're leaning that's what uh, There so. has been a report, and, yeah. and that's really sad. And you know, we just and that goes back. Uh, I was looking at that, and, and she was one one of the sixty in the lawsuit. Uh, oh yeah, that really goes back to to that um, head trauma. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, I, I think back to another era with her. Like I did get to interview her once. That's right. Uh, you did get to. T- that's right. Uh, in 2007, at the height of her career, right. and uh, she was um, she was she, she, by all accounts she was um, a very nice person who uh, even when there were issues n- just really no one had a bad thing to say right. and it was something that uh you know i was really really shocked to hear about this week yeah. she and was so young, um, brother. So and young. uh you know i just did get to interact with her a couple of times and had like a really positive uh experience with her and uh rest in peace absolutely rest in peace to both her and the silver king as well yeah. Def- definitely to gone way too soon yeah gone way too soon you want to talk about mola now Say what now? <laughs> now let's talk about that bitch. <laughs> uh, have y'all watched the Dark Side of the Ring? I yet? haven't watched it yet. I actually um, have not seen this one. Yet. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching it. Hey, I watched There's it last so night. so much going on. Wow! Right now, it's. I don't know what to think. I mean, it it was very well balanced. One thing I will say about that show is they do yes. seem to balance it yeah. very very well. Yes. Because I'm coming out of that Mula show, and I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you you listen to Sweet Georgia Brown's daughter, but then you yep. listen to Bambi. Yeah, you know, and it's like they have two completely different sides yeah. of, of who Miller was. Was Bambi on one of the the uh, Armory shows? I don't. God, I don't know. Uh, Do we, I can't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember that either. It seems. I want to think she was. Okay. It seems kind of familiar, man. But it, it, it's if anybody out there hasn't seen it yet, it, it's a it's an amazing show. I mean, that whole series has really been yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Dark Side of the Ring done I'm, by Vice. I'm so yeah. bummed because it's the last episode last of, one. of this. I'm guessing season. Right. Yeah. Hopefully, they're going to be coming back with with oh, yeah. more. For See, sure. I haven't seen I think anything so. from Dark Side of the Ring. What? And I, they're I know, good. Man. I know. They're really good. I've been guys. I I can't tell you how busy I've been. It's like we've got. You have a lot going on. I do. You have and, a lot going and, on. As a matter of fact, can I can I plug? Absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say before quick? we start wrapping this thing up, yeah. man. Let's put it man, over because uh, we we all know. I've told you all about this. We're uh, my theater company, Free Rain Theater. Right. Uh, 
It's uh, we're coming up on our one year anniversary. Okay, congratulations, uh, yeah, man. That's yeah. awesome, man. Cool. Yeah, uh, we're very. Ex- oh yeah. Very excited, and uh, so last uh, about this time last year, uh, we had our coronation, our uh, you know our coming out party, okay. so to speak. Right. And uh, well, this time. <laughs> go ahead and get the giggles out. Yeah, go, go ahead, ahead, get them out. Get them out. Yeah. You you deserve that after the first five minutes of the show. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, you don't remember. It's okay, huh? I'd steal your Congrats. fries. <laughs> what fries? What fries? <laughs> But not, I mean, we our no core, shame. our None. core nation. None. We uh, we we had this whole big event and it was free and we were just asking for a donation. We had all these bands and these comedians that were there and it was just an amazing time. And we raised a absurd amount of money, awesome. which is, yeah, yeah, moved us, great. got us to do our first uh, free reign production, and it's actually coming into our second uh, free reign production. Which is going to be uh, Saint Joan? It's a play about Joan of Arc. It's okay, dude. Yeah. That's cool. I just got through reading the script. It's amazing. And so now we're doing. We're at our year anniversary, and we've decided we're going to do another uh, fundraiser because it went so well the last time. Right. So we're we're calling it Revelry. Okay. And it's going to be June second, and it's going to be at Jack Beagles in Charlotte. Okay. In Charlotte. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you mean the one in North Carolina? <laughs> yeah, as as fate would have it. Uh, out of ta- Charlotte, out of town. I said, we, man, we've got so we got bands again. Uh, the cool. Evergone, uh, uh, Larry and Scott from Evergone, uh, this band that played with us last year, they're coming back. Okay. Uh, J- oh God, uh, who is Jade Moore? Uh, she played with us last year and. <sighs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I got you. Think you want to? Bug yeah, wood yeah. There you go. You, I mean, if you don't come out for anything else, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and it's free. That's the great thing oh, about well, fuck. it. Okay, it's it's free, man. There's where we got. There's like so many raffles that we're doing. Okay. And 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 just, all, all we're doing is just asking for donations. Okay, right. cool. And that, that's all I was like, man. If you like, well, because we're free reign theater, we're not into we're not a charity thing. Right. It's that we don't come and just we're not begging you. We're not passing the hat around for money. We're gonna give you something. Pay what you feel. Yeah, that it's you that, man. If you if you, you come out and you be. hang with us, man, and you enjoy what you then. Throw a little something. Then, yeah. man, yeah. throw a little something yeah. at us. Because right. right. these cats decided to do this because they are, they're performing because they love what we do. Right. And uh, and so, you know, maybe maybe, maybe throw something yeah. our way and maybe we can help them out. We can help ourselves out. And I was going to say, man, you know, obviously, whenever you post something on Facebook, let me know. We'll put it on our page. Yeah. That way, the pubs out there, they can always go to our page to find out all this information. Oh, you know, absolutely. Oh, hell, yeah. I'm going to share it right now. Do it, brother. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> done done and done um well man anything else i know why don't you put over your show just a little bit i know we've talked about it man, go well, yeah st john man that's happening well, we got uh, 30 30 minutes here I know. Uh, yeah i know i know there's, there's a lot to go uh, this is why you don't watch tv <laughs> this is why you don't get to watch you get to watch wrestling and all when it's on the weekends, oh. like about the time Raw and SmackDown are getting ready to start again, yeah. that's it's when I when watch you, Raw and SmackDown. That's when you get what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell, talk a little bit about your podcast, man. And then that, that's something else. Uh, this is a work. Uh, that's that's my uh, that's my pay per view podcast. I want you to put over this last long walk production talk that you were on, or long walk talks. I'm sorry. Yeah, this last one was. Have you listened to it, Mike? Yeah, the the one about Ready to Rumble, yeah. the movie. We we yeah. did a review of Ready to Rumble. Mm-hmm. Hilarious! Uh, I hate it. With oh, the, I hate, I hate uh, the, 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 the movie. I, I, I hate, hate the movie too. The, the podcast was the hilarious. Yeah. Oh, the podcast oh, yeah. was so much better than the movie. Oh, for sure. I mean, without question. Yeah. Yeah. It took as long. It, it took us just as long to mm. go through that podcast as it did to watch the movie. Mm. Right. My God. Uh, the things but you no, guys was, do for your art, man. I it mean, was Jesus. it was me. It was Barnes. It was the uh, the host of Long Walt Talks, David Hensley, and uh, his co-host Stan Lee, and uh, and that is his real name. Not, yeah. not, not to be confused, <laughs> it's Stan Lee Wilson. That is his yeah. name. And I'm saying that so people can like send him chain mail and shit. Cause, <laughs> 
he, yeah. Well, Stan, Stan. Well, see, I don't. Josh lives in New York now. I don't have a Josh down there until I met Stan. Down where? Down where? <laughs> Yeah, we'll yeah, I don't. There, there, there's no Josh in Rock Hill for for me to, to make fun of and point at and laugh at. Jesus Christ! Uh, until don't you miss it here, Josh? Don't you until miss it Stan here? came around, yeah. and I'm like, my God, there's my Josh. Yeah. Uh, Your Josh, my Josh. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, boogie woogie. Again, uh, is that the live version of boogie? Yeah, woogie man, right? You don't it, get that every day. <laughs> That's special. We're we're in a relationship, and it's a gentle, loving relationship. And um, I thought it'd be more like a prison thing. <laughs> not not so much a prison thing with the bunk beds. Uh, oh, okay. He doesn't call me Scooter. I don't call him Otis. Oh, so it okay, not like okay. that. Uh, Shout not, out to Scooter. It's, <laughs> Shout out Scooter. It, yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's more of like I'm 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 taking it from you. <laughs> Okay, well, Josh, brother, is there anything that you would like the to put up? What's gentle over? about that? I mean, nothing, uh, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I, uh, well, this could go the easy way or the hard way. I, think, I mean, I, I think the only way for me to stay. How do you do it? I think, hold on. <laughs> You'll make $10 the hard way? <laughs> <laughs> I think the only way for me to stay employed is not to mention anything. Don't, 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 yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's a wrap. All right. Well, Mikey, brother, anything you'd like to end us with today? Uh, guy liner and 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 <laughs> French fries, French fries, and South Fork Highway Dicks. Eleven, and, and Highway Eleven, <laughs> South Fork Dicks, and <laughs> that was oh, life getting better. Ah, oh, damn it! Well, guys. <laughs> Smiley, once again, thank you for coming on the podcast well, today. Hey, man. there's something. All right, I, that, that's something I really wanted to bring up in that show. How how we all got our names? Oh, okay. Well, I know. Well, I mean, I was born with mine. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Jace Finger. I'm talking about JD Styles. Oh shit, man. Okay, how did I come up with that? Uh, I think the JD pretty much came from JD Hawk from the Dukes of Hazard. Uh huh. Pretty much, and I've I've said different things for the JD over the years. Just delicious was one. Just delicious uh, was the one. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm that, was, that was a joke grenade. It exploded on me. You just kind of rolled it my way. And I, What'd you just hey, scoff at? There's a grenade down there. <laughs> Boom. And, <laughs> But that was, yeah, man, that one didn't stick. Come on, man. I was like, That's nah. the one I always remember. Yeah, yeah, because we used to say that shit, yeah. you know, in some of the shows. Uh, I can't remember some of the other ones I came up with, but uh, that was always my favorite one. But the JD really came from JD Hogg from uh, The well, Dukes yeah. of Hazard. Well, you know, I also remember us being in gas in college and uh, your, um, not so much your radio name, but your television name right. was Jason Stylus. Stylus. And that's how I got to Stylus. Uh. Because and the reason I dropped the style list because two dogs be like yeah he has less style he's like he or has no style and I'm like well fuck that you know I want to be stylish yeah. you know that's mm -hmm. what I want to be and that was also before I heard of Joy or AJ Styles too I want to put that out there yeah that's for sure. I, I had not yeah. heard of these guys yeah. before when yeah. I came up with that yeah. name because uh, NWA Wildside was um, oh that was down, years down, down the road yeah. and ECW was still about a year or so it, away uh, from my radar right. at I'm that not, time yeah I think it was a still East Coast. It may have been e Eastern Championship. Eastern, Eastern yeah. Champion. Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah. you. Um, so that's how I came up with JD Styles. It was Jason Styles, and then it mm -hmm. became JD Styles, and then it became JD Styles from that point. Nice. Right. Yeah. Well, what about you, Wild Child Mike Payne? I know how, where you got the Mike Payne from. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, your Mo parents. Moms, moms and dads. <laughs> yeah, that, that helps. That was convenient. Uh, Did you get it from Iggy Pop or from Wasp? Wasp. Wasp. Okay. Wasp. Because yeah. yeah. that was your original intro music yeah. was Wild Child yeah. by Wasp. Yeah. Huge Wasp Good fan. Show, man. Yeah. yeah. Still it just kind of fit. Uh, Bounty Hunter, David Hayes. Uh, well, Bounty Hunter, you... Well, no, actually, I came well, up you, with that you, one. You were a Bounty Hunter, though. I mean, yeah. you were doing that. Yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, we couldn't think of nothing else to put on you. Fuck it. Just right, because yeah. I had just... Uh, I had <laughs> just finished up a, uh, a skip trace uh, down in New Orleans where bounty hunting is illegal. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we didn't know that either. I guess not. You until... had, wait, wait. I'm hearing this. You had a dog, the bounty hunter, Mexico kind of situation. I realize the irony. Yes. Uh, well. that's the, this all happened before. Dogs, you know, yeah. 
<laughs> before Dog the Bounty Hunter came out, I was two okay. dogs. Oh, dogs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got lost on that one. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. but Dog the Bounty Hunter got arrested in Mexico for right. bounty hunting mm-hmm. Andrew Luster, yes. who was a uh, cosmetics oh. magnet. So I never you see knew. how it all, it all it circles wow. back around. Circles that back was around. full circle, it's wasn't a, it? <laughs> 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 Damn it, man. Well, Smiley, how do we give your name? Well, for those listening to this who don't know me, um, I don't know you. you. I know. So he had I'll, to do it. I'll, I'll um, no, I, uh, you know, I, I was not a wrestler. I was a referee. Right. And uh, I uh, had moved to New York and came back for like shows occasionally. And maybe it was because I was on vacation all the time when I was doing this. I was like just so happy. <laughs> To be coming because right. I would basically make a couple of shows a year, you would, and yeah. uh, and uh, I'd go to the ring and there'd be like you know somebody in the crowd would say something about there being like a new referee and I was just so happy to be there and <laughs> I smiled a lot. Also, oh, guys get beat down with a chair in the you, ring, you still be smiling, <laughs> and he still says just big time. cheesy grin, just yeah. staring at him, going, "Hey, cut that out." <laughs> if if and, I don't, if I remember correctly, it was Chris Stowe that actually kind of christened it. He's like, "Damn it, you're always smiling in the fucking ring, Josh. We're just gonna call you Smiley or something like." See, that. I thought it was Mike that did it. No, I think it was Stowe. I don't, I yeah, don't know. No, I'm no, not, no, but no. I just remember Stowe no, was, was like, "You're always smiling. You're not supposed to smile." All the time. You no. know, Stowe in that look. You know, yeah. quit, quit smiling. You know? Well, Stowe had a lot of names for Josh. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, howdy! <laughs> That's for another show. We gotta get Stowe in here for that. One of my favorite ones was General Admission. General, off. Oh, I forgot about that. That I one. forgot about. I actually that. forgot. About that I ca- I had not thought about that in yeah. fucking you. We'll get to that some other point, right? Man. And that's right. for the next time Smiley's down, man. Wow. It, it comes back. <laughs> we'll, we'll have something to talk about after the show's over. Good. Yeah, so. yeah. Don't try to work me next time. Yeah. Just tell me he's down. Well, it was a surprise, man. We were like I said, we were trying to get all the the band back together. Hey, dogs were gonna do the karate kid. <laughs> well, that was the original plan, and then Smiley was coming into town, so it, it, it did really, you know, work out like. Oh, that. I thought we were still gonna talk about the karate. Kid. Kid. That's but this next, is turn. That's we just time. did. <laughs> yeah, we just, did. <laughs> just enough for artwork. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, well, guys, Crank kick, take it home. Take it home, man. Well, I, it's, and speaking of taking it home, I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, I think that's, that puts us back to the uh, Josh Stewart sample picture. Oh yeah, most miserable picture in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley, once again, man, thank you for coming down. We appreciate yeah, you being man. here. Thanks, man. guys. This was a blast. Yeah. Pud life forever forever wow all right well guys until next week y'all have a good one and not only that david i understand we're right at the end of our program no. we have got to go this has been a great event there's some people out there that hate us for this